does not change with depth. Until you overcome the material strength. No, then it would crush. At that point, once the material strength is completely, uh, is so the volume inside is so small, the scuba tank then collapses. The volume inside a scuba tank does not change in use and depth. You can see this with a plastic bottle. Watch what it happens. It's not a plastic it's bottle, you moron. Bottle, my mine are steel, and I can't see Correct. them. The are gas inside is, you, is increasing in volume. People. It's not increasing in volume because the size, there's no change in any dimensions. There's no volumetric changes with depth of a rigid scuba tank. Again, Crit, and I don't think you got it because if you're at the surface, Phil, and you have a bottle full of water. Blowing all that water out is going to take the volume of the bottle, right? In air. If you go down to 50 meters, it's going to take five times the volume in air to fill it. And when you let it go down there with, with the cap on it and, and all that air in it, it's going to blow up because it's going to come to the surface at, at, at five bar. Right? Yeah, you can you can also oh, realize this when you breathe and it goes through your first stage or your second stage and you're at depth and you exhale, it's a small bubble. And as the bubble Crit. gets to the surface, it gets the volume oh, increases. Crit. Yeah, Crit. The, yeah the, you're in the, the, stop interrupting me, dude. I'm the one who keeps getting muted when you're interrupting me. The volume of a scuba tank, of a rigid scuba tank, does not change with depth. Concede your incorrect. I didn't say the scuba tank. The yes, volume of the it, gas inside change. Gas volume law. is maintained by the physical structure of the tank. Gas law. inside the the tank. tank. Not subject to the outside pressure. Gas the law inside the tank is not gas subject to nice, outside nice. pressure. Nice. We're, we're not going to talk over each other, man. It, yeah, that's why he's not here anymore. He's, if I ask him to stop talking no. over you guys, you guys can't talk over him too. No. Kosho. He's not wanting that. He wants to play the stupid game. We bounce it straight back at him, for fuck's sake. Don't do that. It's just easy yes, enough to just ask. Yes. It's, easy enough to, it's easy enough to just t have him stop doing it, not just do it also. Yeah. Look, he went. He conceded. It worked, Kosho. What's your problem? No. Gas law. Not scuba tank. Metal law. Not metal fatigue. Gas. The, the gas law assumes the volume the can change. The yeah. gas or assumes the volume can change. A rigid scuba tank does not allow the volume to change. What the fuck? Yes, you get that. When you no, it, you're, you're completely oh, missing the point. Volume when the air has been used, you thick twat. You're addressing the point that he said, not the point that he meant. He's saying that the total usable volume of air inside the tank is less when you're deeper. The deeper you go. There, does everyone get it now? The deeper yeah. you go, the less gas you have available to you. Because the because no, volume... Your lungs in increase, man. It is, it is incorrect. That is incorrect. Yeah. The amount of gas does not change at any pressure. The amount of gas... Listen to my words carefully. The volumetric capacity... Of a tank does not change with depth. That is, does not mean the amount required to fill lungs at different pressure is constant. Do not say a rigid scuba tank changes its volumetric size with outside pressure. At a thousand, hey, here we go. Feet, at a thousand feet, you've got. Uh... X number of kilograms of air, and at the surface you have X number of kilograms of air. Okay, right here. So another important principle of Boyle's law is volume varies inversely with pressure, with the greatest relative change in volume occurring at near the surface. The volumetric change of a rigid structure does. There is no volumetric change of a rigid structure. You are conflating a rigid structure. With an un with an unrestrained volume of gas. Simply put, as a diver goes deeper in the water, the pressure on everything becomes greater. The volume of air in the dive tank gets smaller and smaller no, as the pressure. It okay, who can I this is crazy. See um 
you're working with the kids version, Chris. No. Yes. The density. No, I, I'm working. Yeah, I guess you are, because this dude is clearly fucking retarded. It, shush. The amount of gas required to fill a certain volume changes with depth. If a, if a diver's lungs have a two-liter capacity, when you double the pressure, you will require double the density of air, double the amount of air, the weight of air to fill those two liters. The volume inside the rigid gas tank does not change. What you got there is the kids version, a crit. No. It, yes. No, my guy here is basically you guys don't understand that as you dive deeper, the volume in your tank decreases. No, it Boils doesn't. Law. Duration of a dive might change because you need a greater mass to expand the the volumetric size of the diver's lungs the tank does not change this is why look at this is because as the tank fills all the air molecules are being jam-packed into a, a rigid area obvious that does this guy's retarded that's the point i am making what is culture still here you still here culture yeah i'm listening to uh you talk about uh, yeah. talk about this whenever we talk about uh vacuum of space how this is a, a violation of uh, yeah. space and the I can't even this. see how frustrating this is. I can't even get to the conversation about Boyle's law to even begin to because talk about why Boyle's law. Well, here I just sent it to Kosho. Read it. What, what does it allow you to proceed on wrong a fallacious explanation? Yeah, you're retarded, dude. Like that. Yeah, what you're saying, what you're saying about Boyle's law, uh, it there, there, right there. It just apply, read. It, does, it doesn't apply to whenever a, a system, when something is contained from another, uh, from the outside pressure. You, if you have a tank and you bring it into space, or if you bring it down into the ocean, the the pressures outside of the the tank is not gonna. If it's not changing the volume of the tank because it's not crushing it yet, because it's not strong enough to crush the tank, then it's not changing the volume of the tank, which means it's not changing the other part of Boyle's law, which is the pressure inside the tank. Okay, so when you go on an airplane for your scuba trip, do can you bring your scuba tanks with you, or do you have to rent tanks when you get to your dive location? I have no idea. Yeah, because they stop to do with anything. I'm because fine. ready, ready. Traveler tip for scuba divers: When scuba tanks are often stored with residue air to keep moisture out, compressed air is too dangerous to travel with, as air travel requires you to empty your tank and move the valve. But always fact, empty the tank for cross. Jesus. What would happen as you increase? So if you've got a filled scuba tank and you take it up in the plane, what happens to the volume of air inside the tank? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it will increase and Nothing possibly rupture. The volumetric dimensions inside a rigid scuba tank. What the fuck? Do, you get, do this. Do, take a, say, go, try to board an airplane with a full air tank that, and, 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 give, and tell them what they... And give, into a solid. The laws of traveling on an airplane have got fuck all to do with Boyle's Yeah, it's dangerous because yeah. Boyle's law, natural law, tells you that it would be almost like a pipe bomb if you bring a pressurized scuba, scuba tank into a low-pressure environment. analogy. That's exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. That's, See, I can't even get you five yeah, miles off the ground. You guys got to let him finish, man. You guys do have to let him finish. Yeah. Yeah. This is why your ears pop when you go on a plane and you but take off. If you were inside the scuba tank. And the same reason why you can't bring... Did you read the, the, the thing I sent you, Kojo? I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah, I, okay. haven't, I haven't read it before. Okay. Yeah, dude, it's well, exactly what what Bazar has been trying to say to you is that uh, if the if the volume is not changing because the tank is sealed, if it's a sealed tank, Kosho, because it's rigid, because it's rigid. Uh, uh, yeah, but it's this, only rigid I, for a certain tolerance. Right, let, then it will rupture. If I right. no, let's do the actual point here. The reason you can't take those. If I might. The reason you can't take those on airplanes is the same reason you can't take a lot large lithium battery on an airplane. It's literally a risk to have it, you know, possibly break or get damaged or, you know, blow up. He pressurized one. 
But it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. A pressurized I, one to yeah, rupture with a low pressure. A pressurized one will not blow up because you change the outside pressure by a few psi. That's, that's exactly what happens. happens. And the same thing happens I mean, to your lungs. That's exactly if you, not what happens, Crit, and I will tell you why because I work with this shit. No, you don't. People because you would die. People, if you work with this people, stuff people, and you didn't follow Boyle's shut, law, you'd be dead. Up. Shut up. People Never hold your breath. Everest. People climb to Mount Everest with oxygen tanks with no problems. Yeah. Never hold your breath while if ascending. I might, shut up. If I may. This is due to the air in your lungs will start to expand if less pressure of the water is exerted on the body. Holding your breath as you ascend will cause catastrophic injury. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. I'm not a rigid body. Your lungs are not a rigid structure. They will change. Yeah, neither is a soft skin spacesuit. No, but you only you only tend to worry about that shit when you're diving below thirty meters, and the only people yeah. diving below thirty meters are experienced oh, divers. Oh my gentlemen, guys should allow me. My eyes are just closing. Hold on, I'm gonna let I'm about to let you go, man, because I, I, you guys need to be more aware of when somebody is trying to say something and they, they've been waiting for somebody else. It's not really fair for other people to just jump in in front of them. So no, just, can I can I finish my fucking point on this? Yeah. Because I feel like I really you know know this stuff because I work with it. No, you'd what, be dead yeah, if you were. If you think you can hold your breath underwater up, and it's great. Up, you don't work with the finish, great. great. you got to let sort finish, great. No, a, a scuba tank will hold, uh, the, the good ones will hold 4,500 4, 4, PSI. And, and outside, you're going to have 14.7. And you can take those to space if you want. There's no problem. They're tested to like 6,000. And the difference of having zero or 14.7 outside is going to make fuck all difference. It's like putting one, it's like putting 15 more PSI in it. It's going to do nothing to the volume of it. But obviously, air, aircraft and, uh, you know, aircraft service does not like you having it. a large capacity of energy such as pressurized air in a tank. No, they don't. Doesn't mean it's dangerous, okay? Okay, Boomer. You, go ahead, Boomer. <laughs> oh, Boomer, well, my question was to Crit, but he actually uh, dropped out. Do you, have a, do you have a scuba diving license, Crit? Because you would know these facts and figures. I doubt you have. That's all my point is. You don't have a scuba diving license. You are talking through your ass. Thank you, guys. Yeah, That's Gamma. That's a valid point, Gamma Crit. Behavior. Do you have a scuba diving, scuba diving license, Crit? Yep, I have a advanced scuba diving. I've done multiple very deep technical dives, and, and there's no way that you guys are somehow experts in scuba diving, thinking how, that you how, don't have no deep, concept. Crit. How deep have you been, Crit? How deep have no, you been? No, it doesn't matter at this point, because the current claim on the table is the only proof of the globe. Have you been, have Crit, Crit, have you, Crit, have you been balls uh -huh. deep? Depression. <laughs> areas yeah, for the airplane yeah, you, you've not you've not if, if you're an advanced if you're an advanced diver you might do night dives you're not going below 30 meters without a dive master with you you're not hey, doing solo dives in your own. this is a yeah i've been there with dive masters before here, crit. yeah i Just used to be a dive a master friend, crit. you're gonna want to get a lawyer crit you're gonna need to get a lawyer i can you get, a, make it a good one yeah now legal advice from the curved do you know what the acronym is well, if you, if you uh, don't pay attention to my advice, you're going to pay for it because you're involved with Boomer now. What? Is that a quick point? What the, the honeymoon is over, baby. Where did you get from, man? His, his thing, <laughs> you cut out. What did you say? Did you, like, threaten legal action? You're going to sue me? This, how much more gamma can you I, get? I never said any uh, such thing. Uh, Crete, Crete, calm I'm down. Right here. What's your threat, Kurt? Oh. Come on, come on, Curve. Spit it out. Be a man. Put your words to your. He wasn't even saying anything about you. He's joking about a quick point. Yeah. Crit, put your mouth where your words are. Come on, Crit. Put your mouth where your words are and stop talking out of your ass. I thought he was saying, I need to get a lawyer because he's coming after me with some legal action. No, no. You heard it all wrong, Crit. I heard it wrong. Okay, fine. I heard it wrong, Crit. Okay, can waving it. Fine. That's good. Yeah, oh, no, no, you definitely hit it wrong, mate. You've exceeded 100. 
by Chris Law. Yep. So, Chris, I've just gone and looked at a number of different scuba diving sites, just in case I was wrong, because it's always good to be skeptical. Um, so this is from an NAIU instructor. Um, and he's having a laugh at a thread where they're talking about the fact, because it does look, if you read the Paddy manual, that they're actually got a bit of a typo in there where they should be talking about the pressure in the lungs and the volume size of the lungs, not the volume size of a cylinder. And he said that was a bit of a giggle. Um, but no, it makes fuck all difference to the volume inside the tank beyond the valve. So, Chris, just to follow up, environment. just to follow up on Druss's point there, uh, Crit, how much longer are we to take you seriously? No, you just I don't give a fuck what you do. Finished, of course. Talking about the reason that this I... is what you could do. Like a lot of times, globalists will tell flat earthers, jump off a building to prove gravity isn't real. I offer yeah. you the same thing go no, scuba listen, diving listen. and hold your breath and okay, see I don't, I don't what happens here. when you ascend. It's great advice. Mormon's been trying to say something for a little bit. Yeah. So. I've been no, scuba he's a diving with a snorkel. Here's the shit talker. Shut up, Crit. So, my point is that. When we're talking about airplanes and like scuba tanks, there's many oxygen tanks on an airplane, and even they have tires which are not pressurized in the altitude. So you're full of shit when you're talking about the boil slow. See, I told you. That's all he does is shit talk. This guy's like the perfect. Oh, I, I made a point that you take it as a yeah. shit talking because you're yeah, you, I know. It, so. You love shit talking, dude. I got you. No, no. I know you're, like you're the retarded. massive hey, gamma hey, global. Hey, hey, boys, boys, you know boys, enough too. of this. Come on. This is not yeah, I'd a say school yard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's oxygen fight. tanks. There's a lot of oxygen tanks on an airplane. Mm. And tires and many pressurized things, and there's no problems with the altitude and the low pressures. Yeah. So. But if you've, got an oxygen, if you've got an oxygen tank and someone's put a huge dink in it, and you've got it fully pressurized, and you take it up to a low pressure environment, yeah, there is a possibility, slight however it may be, that it could pop and that would cause damage. They could and the same thing as you go down. They could the, you, handling, which would be dangerous. And the yeah, same thing but, as you go down, it will implode instead of explode. Boils up. Free divers get on. Free divers take one breath, lung full of breath and go as deep as they can without breathing and then come back to the surface without breathing. So once again, crit, you're talking bollocks. Yeah, you don't know anything about free diving either. They, I thought they released. I would thought they released their breath as they they rose up through the water. No, the free don't. divers. Don't. Yeah, yeah. Look, fr I, free I diving don't, doesn't cost anything. I yeah, know, free divers know. actually pack uh, like not just their lungs but their stomach too. Mm. They, I, you I can watch. Uh, there's documentaries about these really deep free divers and how they do this shit. And also, more to the point, as they go down, the amount of oxygen compresses. The problem was if they were go if they were breathe another breath deep and then go up, yeah, that's, that's where you get what, the mechanical failure. But crit, that's, that's not, not what you said. Tank. That's not what you inferred. Yeah, that's, this, that's exactly inferred. what I said. You didn't. See, I, could, I couldn't get there because Coastal kept melting every time I had to make a point. Said this is very simple crit. stuff. Okay, as you go down, right. can you let someone down. make a point, please? You keep yeah, over you talking people. Comment. Someone's just trying to make a short introduction interjection yeah, to make a point, and you refuse to let them do it, and it's really yeah, frustrating. Because I'm not talking about the volume of the actual container. I'm talking about yeah, the volume of the inside, the, the stuff, the uh, the gas inside. And the gas yeah, inside will not... In, yeah, it will the implode. Inside, the gas inside will not compress yeah. unless the outside volume, the volume of that chamber is changed. That's the only thing that's going to cause it no, you're missing to this increase point. pressure. Whether the pressure otherwise, otherwise I could not have a vacuum chamber in atmosphere. It would not fucking be possible according to you because the atmosphere would increase pressure in there. What a yeah, and that's why it, the, the vacuum chamber that is on Earth here has multiple layers of uh, concrete and, and oh. steel. Now you can do I've done it with a perspex, um, a perspex um, a pot and a, and a perspex lid and a bit of rubber. Yeah, not the, okay. not these little ones. I'm talking about the big one, the big and one I've, that I've they say ten, gets ten close to, the minus, to space. Ten, torb, ten to the minus eight. I mean, a vulcanizer goes to ten to the minus five. What does the syringe get to? Thank you. Right. Vacuum the, tubes in an amplifier go to ten to the negative. We're, we're talking uh, about the ones 17? that go to space, equal to space. Oh, ten. There's, there's like the one of them. 
There isn't any that equal space. Or get close enough to it. There's lots that get close to it. In fact, the, the, the most the, the, the best vacuum chamber isn't the biggest one. That's yeah, the, the space the, and, power and, and, facility. And the main reason that the space power facility, which is the biggest one, and it's not the best vacuum chamber for the point of view of getting down to low pressure, the reason it's got such fucking thick walls is part of its design is for acoustics. All it needs to bear is 14.7 um, 14 psi per inch. That's load, that's load bearing. That's load bearing. It's got to contain anything above that's gravy. They also do a staged uh, heat compression on that. I think there's an outer shell and an inner shell. They bring the outer shell yeah. down to like gel. And it takes like uh, days. Uh, they, like, half a bar, and then the inside chamber they bring down to deep vacuum. It takes like days for them to get it there too. That's that's fascinating. But can we get to the the main point, which was how this was a violation of uh, the vacuum of space, and before. That said, uh, we need to make sure that you understand the main uh, misunderstanding of well, the <laughs> conversation we just had. Uh, Bizarre has been trying to uh, get to you. If you have a rigid tank, a tank that's not ruptured in any way, uh, it, we understand that the, the volume inside of this tank is not going to change uh, because of the pressures outside of the tank. That's not ruptured. Yeah. I know, again, the pressure won't change. We all understand that. Because now that we all understand that, uh, you're supposed to be explaining how this is a violation of uh, vacuum of space. Okay, did you see the stuff I sent you? Yeah, we saw uh, the stuff you like you sent us. So what? I see what you sent me, yeah. All right, here's the issue. If you take a Capri Sun and empty out all the liquid and fill it with oxygen, you shove the straw in there and you go diving. How deep can you breathe out of that Capri Sun? It's a strong question, there. The deeper you go, the less you have available. Yeah, because it's compressible. So right there, Coach, you see why I said, simply put, as a diver goes deeper in the water, the pressure on everything becomes greater. The volume of air in the diver's tank gets smaller while the pressure no, rises. Well, that's wrong. That is okay. You're saying it's wrong. wrong. I, I said culture was wrong. wrong. The volume and, in the and, tank. And, sorry, go on. The volume doesn't get smaller until oh. it leaves the tank and then it's in the, the hose and stuff and it goes to the first regulator. And then after that, it's, you know, it's going to be the pressure is going to be um, compressing it. Bang on. Bang. Absolutely. Hey, bang on. Not, point. Thank you. I don't do that often, but I'll say it today. Thank you. We've all said this. We've all said this. It's not going to happen with this tank. The tank is not going to change. But you're showing us two pistons. That's what you sent to me. But you pistons see. are they're capable of changing. You know, it's it's not not tank, it's read the word. Yeah. That's, yeah. The, uh, of, that's actually the picture for the, the graphic above of showing the pressure pushing down on the volume. One of those, a diesel. Crit, can it be an oxygen tank? Hey. Where's the pistol? A piston there, and and what what you're seeing there is a change in the volume to increase the pressure, as per Boyle's law. Cool, I'm with that. So yeah. now what you need to There's show no is piston. the yeah, and the thing is, is the the volume of the gas tank it doesn't deform, so therefore the internal volume does not change. Therefore, the pressure inside the tank does not change. As that tank keeps, if you were to dive deeper than the the limits of the tank, the tank would implode. Yeah, if I, dive deeper, if I dive deeper than the limits of my tank, the tank imploding is the last of my fucking worry. Yeah. Well, it's, because it's, 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 pushing... last, it's not relevant to this conversation. Yeah. Is the problem. No, because it equals the and lungs, too. Also, also, I said until the material strength is overcome. Did I not? No, it, has, it has let's nothing to, to the... do with the uh, interior let's, volume let's of the, the uh, container. Uh, let's get to the spacesuits, okay? Yeah, exactly. Because it's, 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 it's supposed to be a violation of the spacesuits. Like yeah. If you have a high interior, volume, or, high interior or, pressure, or, it might help yeah. it from imploding sooner. Um, yeah. That yeah, is also true. Is the rigidness of the yeah of the yeah because it maintains itself. rigidity from the pressure inside pushing outwards. I agree with you. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. need a and very, same thing with very your lungs. To, Twice to... in one day percentage. This is getting fucking freaky. Yeah, and just crit, 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 his cock, man. We've all said exactly what he's saying, man. You didn't say That's any of that thing. when we said that. Or ask a quick thing from <laughs> but, someone but, who knows. But he maybe. dipped it in flavor and took me to Twizzletown. Yeah. Now the point of a spray spacesuit. They are operated at like eight psi or so, with, with largely pure pure oxygen. Four. No, not much more. 
Um, no, four. Four. Oh, yeah. Okay, four. It depends on the the country that's made them. I believe the cosmonauts run a little awesome. higher. Doesn't matter, anyways. Is is not fourteen point seven. And if we say equate that outside to zero, what you're gonna have is, is uh, a rubber container for that four to eight psi and some uh, fabric to hold it in. How's that gonna be a problem? Because it's next to a vacuum. Yeah, so explain, so explain, explain how Boyle's law says that that's a, a violation. How that's violating Boyle's law. The same way, like if you're down at sixty feet and you take a very deep breath and then go upwards and decrease pressure, that is every not, thirty yeah, feet, would, yeah. the volume difference, inside your lungs is going to increase. Sure, the difference going yeah. down, yeah, to four psi difference is like going down like five feet in the water, like mm. five or ten feet or something like that. It's no, that's like, a, it's that's not totally like wrong. Sixty feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is talking about different. like explosive decompression. Mm, you true. would like. You, there's these spacesuits would have to be like the original. That's why the original ones they they tried to float were like these metal, um, like bionic armor type stuff. No, that's wrong. No. Equivalent equivalent pressure change of an astronaut space meaningless. Space. Not in Boyle's law. Is, is equal is equal just like Kosho said to only five. No, not reference in Boyle's law. Let in him water. finish. Man. Let him finish. That's exactly Kosho's exactly correct. You are trying to you are trying to express the difference between the internal and external pressure in us in space as some massive difference, and it simply isn't. It's four. It's five to eight pounds per square inch difference. No, you only need to go six or seven feet un underwater to have the same effect. So there you go. You got P one. Stop trying to big it up as some yep. um, over. So the formula for Boyle's law. It clearly yes. isn't. Yeah, the formula for Boyle's law is P1 times, or yeah, P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. If you make that P zero, what happens if you divide by zero? No. Dividing by zero? Yeah, so is vacuum, is, what, what's vacuum in space? Zero, it's going to be greater than zero. Never. There's no zero anywhere. It's always pressure. Well, okay, pretty much zero. Yeah, yeah, but it's not zero. Yeah, yeah, zero, zero with a bunch zero. of zeros. There is no dividing by zero in that formula. Okay, do Boyle's Law formula and show me what the volume of the spacesuit would be. Uh, crit, the equivalence you're looking for. <laughs> hey, 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 guys, I don't know where you uh, learned to dive, but but I dived a lot with dry suits because it's freaking cold here. And, and dry, in a dry suit, the equivalence you're looking for is going down to five meters. You pressurize your dive, uh, your dry suit. You know you have a little vent thing to um, to keep it from pinching you, right? And you I've, I've dived with dive, dive, dry suit before. I yeah. love this. So make your point because I, I got yeah. a perfect thing to explain this. At, at five meters, you fill it up so it's good and comfy for you. And then without deflating it, you go to the surface. What happens? Does it explode? Great. Easy, easy question. Come here. If he's not going to answer it, then just, just answer it for him and get your point. It does not explode. It does inflate somewhat. But if you Testing. were to put on a canvas, uh, you know, coverall suit on top of it, you would yeah. stop that inflation and you would have essentially the equivalence of a space suit. Yeah, check so it out, right? So I get what you're saying. I, my mic wasn't working for there. So oh. you dive down to about 100 feet or whatever you're looking at. No, like, no, like, no, no, you dive. Five yeah. meters. No, not five. I take it really deep. Show this for all it's worth. You take that dry suit down to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. Then you five. fill yourself up like the state five, puff five, marshmallow five, man. Why, Crit? You're not. Okay, I'm good. So you can understand this. Okay, no, so a really no, large no, demonstration no, of this. You but fill this. The pressure difference to space is too. No, we'll, we'll, you we'll, fill we'll, we'll, we'll that afterwards. Just so, okay, you, yeah. you go down. As deep as you can go with your dry suit, you fill that bastard up as high as until the suit starts just letting the air out because it, it can't take any more air. Yeah. And then you ascend, but at the same time you close your air valve so that it won't no more air can be released. What would happen by the time you get to the surface? Well, if it didn't leak, you, you, 
if you didn't leak, you'd have a massive overpressure in it, right? And and it would explode, it right? Explode. Your suit would burst. What you should have done is, is, is respond. You should have responded by telling him that that's not relevant in this situation, man. But that is not talking about. Sorry, go ahead. It's preserved. Again, when did Boyle ever go scuba diving? Sure, <laughs> you're, talking about a, you're talking about a 45 psi difference. When you do, when you're going down uh, something like that, 100 feet or something. No, these are about numbers. PSI difference. We're not talking about 45 psi difference, man. Yeah, the numbers I sent you. It's about the actual numbers. Pressure it's one. Great. You have no volume. Numbers. You have no numbers in your demonstration of what the pressure of the suit would be when it comes back to the surface. It would be enough to overcome the correct. capacity of. Give us yeah. a number, a specific number. Go on. Yeah. Give us in pounds per square inch. A specific number of internal uh -huh. pressure of that suit. Yeah, if you're okay, if you're going to deny it, and just try it with your own lungs, dive very deep, it's take the biggest possible breath you can take, just like a number. Come on, yeah, you I got it. you. The you number is do and see all the information That's you need. Give us the law. internal pressure of a suit that was pressurized at sixty meters or whatever you said. Give us the equivalent pressure when you come back to the surface. Yeah, and it would break the suit. What is the number, though? What you, is you, the if you're going to deny that that... It, they want if, numbers. Crit, if it doesn't yeah, work, yeah. Book, they don't want to hear it. They're, they're, crit, they want you numbers. It Give them numbers. The numbers. I'll you give you a number. Boom. Crit, crit, you said it was the numbers. It's all about the numbers, Crit. Give us the number, Crit. Go on, play your own. Uh, could Hold your own. Yeah, I got it. To your own and you deny numbers. it. Hold the you, yeah, you deny standards. it. It's a numbers game, you said. Give it, yeah, numbers. that's how these dive tables are figured it's out. Great. They're figured out by you have a number, otherwise, what you said is nonsense. Give us a number, or otherwise, everything you say is bust. You have nothing if you can't give us a number. They work, they're done. I thought I so. Are you trying to go to are you, are the, um, are you using the are you using the dive tables from Paddy? Yeah, I'll give Why you. Why are you trying to use a, uh, a diving situation with a ten bar differential in pressure <laughs> to a, a one bar situation? Because you can't even get that. I can't even get you guys to realize that if you overfill your dive suit, win the other. He's not a truth seeker. He's not trying to inform anybody. There's, there's, there's a spiral. Thing. He's just, just you jump. I barely got four words. You said I, the word number. I'm beyond caring. I'm beyond, caring. beyond caring. Have you got yeah, that number? Okay, sure. I'll just keep uh, talking to this. Because if you're going to keep using the word number, it's, it's, more than it's, it's, four it's, words it's, I get. Guys, you got yeah, I get it. See, so keep saying crit. That's You've used stop, the stop. word crit more words than I said total. But crit. Right, you, guys you guys can't behave like this, man. It makes it very unlistenable for everybody else. Yeah, it's amazing. I. This is why I want to hear. Ready? Explain to me why. If I overfill my dive suit at 60 meters, 30 meters, 100 meters, and I ascend too quickly, not but only not will my son. Holy fuck. I... Yeah, Let me know what I can do. Right. But Haskins could move his pace. Could move his pace. I don't the understand. What the pressure be? Make sure you all interrupt them at the same time, eh? All of you. But could question? move his pace, please. Stop what interrupting, question? SA. Just a simple question. What's the number? You guys done spiraling? See, this is the issue. You want yeah. to sit there and, and like deny yeah. scuba Boy, diving you, and Boyle's law because you know it destroys the argument. space. You cannot back up your own argument. You said they would can be. I, can I answer you the numbers for you? Can I answer pressure, the numbers for you? And you haven't given can us what the pressure for you. Why are you trying to proceed when you can't fulfill your own criteria of your own argument? Yeah, go ahead. Answer the numbers for him. Right. Well, um, the, the numbers for like a, a space suit. I don't know about the oceans, but in regarding a space and that, on the ISS, it's eight point six psi, and according that's if they're up there. And according to space travel, when they went to the moon, it was four point three psi. That was the that was the pressure of the space suits. Okay. The reason why you want to quit crit to answer is because the example crit was giving was going down a hundred feet with the suit and coming back up to the Meters. surface. Uh, right, right. 100, 100 meters, fine. That's even worse because what we're trying to do is explain why this is uh, why this is a violation in space. We've identified the, the difference in pressure as would be about four psi difference in pressure, four to eight difference between uh, the spacesuit and the vacuum space. 
So yeah. four to eight PSI compared to the number you haven't given us yet. Um, I've given an estimate for one, but this is the pressure difference from being down that deep and coming back up to the surface. But 45 is 100 feet, but it could be more if it's even deeper. So 45 is much greater than four. So this is what we're asking is how is it a violation of space with the four PSI difference? Let, let's not forget that the astronaut who did collapse in a vacuum chamber with a space suit on and he, you know, he was wow. knocked out. See, this is a problem. Like, you guys know where I'm trying to take this. So you'll argue natural law with some scuba diving because you are squirming and spiraling this bad. I can't even <laughs> tell you. I think was right. Yes. We're trying to keep it relevant. That's yeah. But it was the relevant is, if you're going to talk about scuba diving and you're going to show a violation, you're going to have to talk about the same numbers that we're talking yeah. about, a four PSI difference. Yeah. 4.3. I'll give you something saying. relevant. In all the history of testing of suits, we have only one video. It's not really. I believe it was in the 60s. Let it's me finish. Relevant, man. And this yeah. guy collapsed on the floor. The tube connecting the pressure popped out, and his tongue started. Do you think they could have fixed the tube? That's wrong. I see. That's it. We have. I see. That's wrong. That is absolutely that's correct. Wrong. Find me another one. That's, that's not the only. That's not the only video we have, mate. But don't you think they'd be testing these suits all the time? I mean, yeah, they do. kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like, respond to the thing that he's that we're talking about before we talk about that. Yeah, yeah sure. Okay, what am I supposed to respond to? You? That why um, gas supposed, law yeah, doesn't if apply. You to you to if you, you guys, to okay, I'm okay crochet. with that. If you see, this is where I was going with the whole heat, death, and entropy. Because you're at the end of the day, you're going to tell me Boyle's law does not apply to space, and I get no, that. I'm not going to say that. No, I'm not going to say it at all. I don't want to stop enough I'm not to gonna say that. Say, oh, I'm gonna say the violation that you're stating about this these suits, you're using numbers that are much greater than the numbers uh, that are so four PSI difference. If you're gonna talk about the suits and show them as a violation for what happens in space, you'll need to describe the four PSI difference. So that's a that's a uh, an issue for a four PSI difference. Yeah, so when you basically put surface. that's not what the formula says. The Boyle's law formula doesn't talk about a PSI difference. It talks about P one times P two or times V one equals P2 times V1. Those yeah. the, the two sides, A will equal B. Yeah, Chris, the, where you're wrong about that is where you're using the wrong volume for the second side. You see? No. What, yes. Okay, what, sure. If I'm using the wrong volume, uh, uh, then... Uh, 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 are you talking uh, about volume? Uh, we have to talk uh, about pressure. How are you yeah. wrong? If That's I'm using wrong. the wrong V2, but at least see, now... Because I'm see, real quick. I promise I'll be quiet real quick. So if I'm using the wrong V2, where you just over talk people to be in it. Yeah, I got it. But I just want to oh, highlight the point because you're, you're helping me. You're helping me a lot, but I don't want you to, to double to run away from it and say you didn't say it. There, no, if I'm using, running away from it, you're yeah, I, I don't want you to run. Okay, oh. you uh, stop right there, ready? Because well, this is where we can agree. The V2. So hang on, yeah. hang on. So he said it'd be you quick. So it, yeah. so it, quick. quick. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, he said quick. it'd be quick. So quick. He said it'd be. Qu he said he'd be yeah. quick. And if then I'm be using quiet. the wrong V2, at least we're now talking about volume. Because a couple, like 15 minutes ago, it's like this. It's not. There's no volume. There's no change in volume. So at least now Why we're on track. Not the argument, mate. Talking about in a rigid container, the volume yeah, go ahead. change unless the pressure outside affected the shape of the chamber, therefore affecting the volume of the chamber, therefore increasing the pressure inside. That was the argument, not the one you just stated. That so, was so, a real so was fucking straw man. Sort was told that he was going to be allowed to go after he Yeah, go ahead, Sort. Yeah. Can I finish my fucking point? Yeah, I love it, because I love that you use the word volume. Thank you. Good, because... Uh, the, the go word... ahead, Sort. Shut up. It's sorts go. Right. The volume you want on one side is going to be the volume of that suit when, when, when you know, with a guy in it. So it's going to be the air volume of it, right? And the volume you want on the other side is when it expands ever so slightly by the, the zero pressure outside. And that said, Dude, you gotta take care of curve in the background there. He is really crying a lot. There's that. But there is not gonna be the volume of space and zero pressure anywhere in that formulation. Okay, how about this? Do you at least understand where I'm coming from if I think there is? 
No, because you have crap analogy about some kind of scuba diving e example is equivalent to an astronaut in a spacesuit. Yeah, because you're retarded. You, you talking about you talking about people running away from the argument? You did not finish your crap analogy because you couldn't because it was a crap analogy and it didn't work. You were trying to conflate a massive pressure difference involved when you go down 100 meters in water water with the tiny pressure difference of an astronaut in space yeah, yeah. your analogy was shit it was disproven and dismantled no, that's not part of Boyle's law. there's no variation there you, you, two um, separate you mystified Boyle's law you try to you try to make a false analogy and come up with some extreme example which doesn't apply your your argument and your example was destroyed it does not apply to the argument we were having of the difference of differential pressure inside and outside a pressure suit and how much strain it causes on a space suit completely crap analogy well Boyle's law doesn't apply to the structural strength of what the gas is inside exactly that's that's, that's the that's the thing that we're all missing yes you can apply Boyle's law that's fine but you need to also apply the structural strength of um, what the gas is inside yeah like your that pressure that you calculate uh, okay yeah, go the pressure that no, you it, calculate, it, you if it's it. not um, greater than that strength of that container, then it's not going to have any effect on the inside. But if it does have an effect on the container, then you are going to see um, effects to the inside, uh, the gas inside. Mm -hmm. Let's Let's go, go, Crete can respond. No, no Crete has to respond. Oh, wait, no, no, wait, no. wait. Crete has to respond. Go ahead, Crete. Respond to what? To what Bio just said. Oh, oh okay, you're talking about like... Uh, why uh, space is somehow okay in, in form of, Bo of Boyle's Law. Like, you don't have to worry about it because it's actually a gas pressure gradient. No. It's no. So, space too. So what, what, I'm, what I'm specifically saying is you, um, we can apply Boyle's Law when we can, and if the structural integrity of what uh, the gas inside, if the structural strength of that container isn't compromised um, or isn't affected by the calculations made with Boyle's law, then the inside gas won't be affected as well. It's only the gas inside will only be affected by what's going on on the outside if the structural strength yeah. is um, affected. Like a submarine, right? And the submarine so, can yeah. handle the pressures on the outside. So, so to it a certain point, pressures though, on the inside. Only to a certain point. Even submarines will mechanically implode if they get too deep. Yes, well, right, not, but that's not a, a Boyle's law issue. That, yeah. That's a structural strength issue. And the same thing with a with a, a spacesuit or a space. Yes, yeah. they make how much pressure difference in free sun? Yes or no? A spaceship, how much pressure pressure difference have, have you have? The square root of yeah, this is huge because you're going from pressure inside to no pressure on the outside. Right. Right there, there, it busts, the I, I would, really, it the I would really like to ask Crit a quick question. So, are you saying? that a 45 pound per square inch pressure difference has more of effect than a four to eight pound per square inch pressure difference. No, no. I'm so, saying if you divide so, by zero, if not, you divide by zero, or by zero, we're dividing okay, by listen, zero. I'm, I'm trying to give you an answer here. You're listen, hey, 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 one at a time. You're wrong. That's there right. is no dividing by zero in that formula. Yeah, if you look at the what's the pressure of space, that is almost, Zero. That is like, but, but that's not the question we're asking. That's, that's not what we're You're answering a question not being asked. So right here, not how that works. The, the pressure of zero is that like is one point three with ten zeros in front of it. No, you want to know whether well, uh, how far you're asking how far will the air go if my suit fails? Yeah, and right. We have a suit that's not failing. Therefore, your formula is totally irrelevant. We don't even okay. give a shit how far that air will go. Yeah, I got you. Like, so there is a reification. The space use exists, therefore space is real. Well, I'm saying, no, how about look at natural law? No, space is real because space Jesus. is real. Right. Yeah, pressure in space. outer space. space. Physics textbook. Here, is zero or what's the not? pressure there? Why are you dividing? Right what's the pressure there in Tor? Yeah, pressure in outer space. Physics textbook. The pressure in outer space is so low that many consider it as non-existent. It has a pressure of 1.3 times 10 to negative 11. The pressure can be detected. Why are you dividing? And since there's very little air and hardly any uh, thing hitting you in space, this pressure is almost zero, negligible. It doesn't matter, Bio. Why is he zero. dividing? Zero or right not there. zero? Why is he dividing? 
Yeah, since oh. this is very little air and hardly... You'd not. There is no dividing by zero. There's no infinite difference expressed anywhere in that formula. What what he's doing is um, bringing one of the variables to the other side. And by yeah. doing that, you have to... Di like, for example, if you want to bring P1 there you go. to this the is other simple side, math. then Thank you, you just divide, you divide by P1. Therefore, it's yeah. going to be V1 equals... P two V two over P one. That's that's what there. he's referring to. See, look how you guys are so I, I bad at math. How far it hurts. It hurts the brain. How bad at math. You're not doing V one V two in space. Zero. zero. That's it's so stupid. bad. It's so amazing how bad you're you're doing doing you can't even space, solve dude. a formula. P one V two equals P two V two. You can't even solve that. What is that formula answering, or what is that question that you're asking? Are you asking how far? You just P two. No, stop, please. Are you asking how far the gas will expand or whether the soup will explode? Please. Okay, tell this me. is what they would answer, right? So you're inside um, a pressurized system, like, the, like say, the spaceship, in quotation okay, marks. No, we're in a spacesuit. We're not in a spaceship. Yeah, right? you're in the space. This is, okay, it's listen. 4.3 PSI. Okay, forget it. Go, go with it. Boy, Boy, my Boy, let, him, let him get through it, Moyak. Yeah. So you can well, answer the question. Step by step. Yeah, let him get to the end and then tell him how wrong he is. But it doesn't help when everyone's going at it at once. Go ahead, Crit. Oh, it's my go? I thought someone was telling me what my own argument was. Crit, go. Go ahead, Crit. Okay, so you've got, first of all, you've got the, uh, the astronaut inside the fake ship, and the pressure is P1, and the volume is V1. Then he puts on a spacesuit, and the pressure is equal, P1 and V1. Then he goes yeah. to an, an outer space environment with zero pressure. So now you change your P2 to what the pressure is in outer space. And, you and then the you step. solve for the V2. You skipped, you skipped one step already. He goes to a decompression compression area on the uh, space station called the airlock. And they decompress down to 4.3 psi. So now we're at 4.3 psi. Now we're going outside the spaceship. Next. Yeah, all you did was just gradually change it instead of just an uh, an explosive decompression. Right. What is what is V2? Then he steps out into the void of uh, the uh, vacuum what is of B2? space. Please, please address the question, Chris. Outside of the, the station. Rick, what is V2 is the question. The outside, the, 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 the amount of, uh, the outside of his suit, how large his suit would expand to uh, inside the formula. What is the void of the space outside the suit? I, I can't hear you. Put the cigarette down. What is the volume of the space outside the suit? Yeah, that was the first point. You guys missed it earlier where you tried to tell what me that it? actually the isolated system isn't is the it? space. Yeah, you just say that the whole universe. What is V2? Yeah, the whole universe. 10 to the so minus that was the original all. claim. The original claim that... that Gene, Gene, earlier, shut up. That was, the original, someone was saying earlier, that entropy doesn't apply because the whole system is the universe. So inside the whole I'll system... Of the universe, all right now, right? You can just basically make V2 anything you want. You're, you're applying <laughs> Boyle's Law Into to space, right? <laughs> No, gas. You're trying to apply Boyle's law in space. Yes. You don't have B2. I'm trying to apply Boyle's law to gas inside a pre uh, depressurized system. And what's outside your pressurized system of the suit? The vacuum of space. Or gonna, the vacuum I'm chamber. Need I need B2. Yeah, V2 is the dude inside the spacesuit. Or the vacuum. Well, no. Or the <laughs> no. no. What's the V stand oh, for, mate? What's the right V on. stand for, Crit? Say again. Volume of the astronaut. <laughs> Crit, what's the V stand for? Volume. Am I still here? Yes. Yeah. Volume. What? Where? Where's this volume? Okay. Are we? Are, this is crazy, dude. I've. I've, I've had where enough. is the volume? Where is the volume? That you say. Are you, head 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 are you headed to Canada head by head any head chance, correct? Wouldn't it be the inside of the suit? The inside of the suit. 
if you go with the submarine anal analogy, what's the uh, V2 outside the submarine? What's the volume of the uh, outside of the submarine? See you, crit. What? The ocean. What? The ocean. See me what? I told Where you guys can test this in real time. V2. Take a very deep breath and it, and go up in the on to the surface. What V2, happens yeah. to your lungs? It is about the pressure difference. It's only about the pressure difference. No, it's because also about the volume difference. Up to all of you. No, You're all the volume fast. difference is irrelevant. The volume of your lungs will increase until they mechanically explode. <laughs> our, yeah. our lungs don't, don't have the, um, the strength to combat these uh, pressures. Yeah, that's, neither that's, does the space. You let this so guy, we can you run the errands for this guy and you let him. You're running errands for this guy and you're letting him. Yeah, my lungs, lungs can take the same pressure, pressure, pressure but a fabric suit there. can? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. Yeah, it, it's, it's, that particular, it's at particular pressure differences. That's that's the issue. No, where... pressure difference is not referenced in Boyle's Law. And and that's fine. We don't have to use Boyle's Law for, for what we're talking about. We're talking about um, the, the formulas and what you're talking about in Boyle's Law don't have anything to do with the um, structural integrity of, of the container. So right right off the bat, we can ignore Boyle's Law um, based on the context of okay, what we're sure. talking about. Yeah, if you want to ignore natural law, you do you. That's not no, what I'm about. Well, well, what you're missing is we have to take into account the, um, the strength of the container that we're talking about. We have to take that into account. So if you want to only use Boyle's Law, you're wrong. We can use it, but we have to add these other variables as well because they are directly affected. Yeah, I don't need anything other than Boyle's Law to demonstrate how... Then you uh, don't have a container that you're talking about between yeah, these two pressures. Um, yeah. When you well, I, think the, a, the space suit. If I take a sealed water bottle, a plastic water bottle, and I put it inside one atmosphere of pressure, it's just open air, and I put it in a vacuum chamber, I pull a vacuum on it, will that water bottle explode? It will collapse. No, I put oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Bottle. No, it will. Yeah, it will explode. It will explode. Yeah. So it you will explode. Say, yeah. I put a water bottle that has a uh, the ability to hold a hundred psi of air pressure or one yeah. bar. Uh, sorry, uh, ten bar. And I can put in that vacuum chamber with only one atmosphere in it, and I reduce it by one atmosphere. You're saying that bottle will fail? No, that would be. It would. Uh, is it okay? Uh, it's hard to follow the analogy here. So this is what would happen. If you take a bottle uh, with air, uh, just your basic water bottle for, uh, and fill it with air, and dive down thirty feet, oh, it will no, no, no. compress. I know it's going into, 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 into deep. Yeah. Really important. The depth it, it compresses, and into less pressure it expands. This no, is the way it goes that inversely. That way. So that go ahead. Bottle, that water bottle is capable of holding a, a pressure delta of a ten bar. And I'm only making a one bar difference when I put it in my vacuum chamber. That bottle will not fail. Correct? Is so, yeah, if, it, if it's within tolerance, it will not okay. fail. The same thing for a scuba tank, the same thing for a, uh, a, uh, a submarine. Now, and the inverse really is too. It's a bar difference. <laughs> and you're not dealing with crushing versus hoop strength. So let, let's, let's stick with the argument that we're on and not jump all over fucking creation the pressure no this is what we're going with see at some point i was taking the task because i said i think natural law especially Boyle's law and gas law really throw a huge wrench in this idea of entropy even more so if one's going to claim the container is gravity in that the whole oh, universe okay. is actually the isolated system oh, i go there's sorry. a lot of claims on the table there you're talking about space yeah. Yeah, they got the That's space suits because the first thing was entropy doesn't exist because the Earth has a container but doesn't have a container, but it has gravity as the force, but it's not a force. And if you go into space, Boyle's law doesn't really exist because uh, the whole Fine. universe is the, the, the oh, system. Well, Boyle, Boyle's law can exist. You see what, what, all the Boyle's contradictions? Law, Boyle's law can exist, but what you're saying, if you're only using Boyle's law, you're ignoring the, the strength of the container. That that it's simple as that. Once you take into account the strength of, of the container, 
then you can have these varying um, pressures outside inside with with no effect because it's uh, it has the strength to combat these uh, differentials. But it, you it's don't have the strength. You have fabric. You no, have no, no. Fabric. So, so Montreal, that we we can work, we can test this. We can test this. Um, wh Where whatever have material, you test, so test it. Okay. What, whatever material so, you, it. whatever material that you you bring into question, we could test the strength of these materials. And what we're talking about is four to eight psi uh, differentials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send That's all, all we have to test for. That's head. all we have to what test for. Back in the suits. Show me them testing a suit in twenty. I'm not required to do anything for you, Montreal. If you have a question about something you can test these things no you're talking gibberish this guy's taking you to school and you guys are not understanding he's, he's ignoring no he's ignoring the strength of these materials this kind of pressure is zero zero okay the the, four psi difference. right but we, we do have to take into consideration the strength of these materials that that's all yeah you which do, are fabric yeah which is I, not I, I'm comply with type. containing pressure thank you where, yeah, where are I these totally formulas you. are you accounting for that no, bio. Listen, I totally agree with you. That's why submarines, you know, can only go through so deep. Why would they want to launch a missile from a submarine? They have to get to launch depth, because if they try to launch it from too deep, not only will the missile not make it to the surface, but it'll cause huge problems inside the boat. There's right, lots of you're... issues when dealing with pressure. Right, I and I agree. Different... Okay. Yeah, and I agree. That that's why what I'm saying is, wh when you have that closed container like a submarine, and you open a part of it, yeah, you're exposing the inside. That you're exposing it, and you're no longer um, completely contained. I mean, I'm yeah. sure it is because of backup, whatever. But but for yeah, our there's redundancies sake, to protect the crew. Obviously, they're not. It's not a Russian right. submarine, right? And 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 when you when you open a that's part of it, you're changing the volume of the entire uh, submarine. Therefore, you're going to be changing other things. But for this argument, you are opening this container to a certain extent. So that is dangerous under these circumstances. But when you have a closed container that's not being opened, then it's directly the strength of the container. And even the missile, if you launch a missile from too deep, by the time it hits the surface, it will mechanically fail and not be able to even, it will just break up in the water before it even gets there. It, the, the volume inside, the air-filled spaces inside the missile will expand and expand and then damage you know, circuitry or uh, flight optics or control arms. Right. So now the four p at launch depth. That's even if you're lucky enough to about, launch it. The, the first delta time. is fine. At launch depth, from let's say I don't know what launch depth is, but I whenever I see images yeah. of it, it looks like it's, it's at least secret. one atmosphere. It looks like it's at least one atmosphere. The rocket is more than thirty-three feet long, and it is there's different. There's a difference between the surface and top. Of that yeah, rock people rock. don't know that information. So, top that's at least one of atmosphere of difference, and we're dealing with a third of an atmosphere difference. Why do you think the spacesuit will have a problem with a third of an atmosphere dip delta between the deepest, darkest reaches of outer space? Yeah, I'll tell you why. Because when they tested it on Earth, the guy almost died. No, that was that one. Why. I, that was one, and you've seen videos of other people who've done it. And do you think that if you have a problem with something, if your car, if the car manufacturer finds that there's a defect in the axle, that they can't fix that axle and produce a car? No, they I would fix the space suit. And then easily. I would want to see proof that it was fixed. Yeah. Show well, me proof. Got that video that that you've oh. seen the videos. We've showed them to you. What videos? Night. You got a video with a guy, a star, in a, in a, in a chamber? What, what oh, videos do you have? Show me one. NASA. There's also a free now, in, 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 in 2020 or 2019, show me a video of that. Go. It's a 360 video. I don't know what year it is, but it's got to be relatively modern because it's a 360 yeah. video. Try to find one, my friend. You know you can't. You yeah, know it doesn't exist. I just exist. tried one. What's your problem? Okay, and I want to dive. you know they test their suits in underwater. So believe me, uh, you guys have nothing. Just take the L and go away. If Hold on, on. I, I, I give you L. This is what I'm talking about. And not instead of pressure gradient, but like um, at what at about 300 feet, you can no longer. It's a day. That's the, the absolutely the holy grail. The deepest anyone can go in a soft skin uh, dive suit. You have to go to a hard skin dive suit at that point. So that point is basically you're saying that's ten. That's adding uh, ten times the pressure, right? Yeah. That's you need how many how many extra zeros is that? Yeah. Everything that has to do with diving, you are right. So that would has be, nothing to do with space. No, because Boyle's law, I think, in my humble opinion, applies as a natural law 
it applies to all of creation, not just the parts that you yes. want to. Okay. That's so if we I have on the you, ground, we have one, one bar, we go to space, we have zero. And yeah, and what happens if you divide by zero? One. And what, you happens, go, what happens if you divide by zero? It's not, it's not what you're talking about dividing. Yeah, for Boyle's Law. And see, I if talk I about, look at... I talk about what we have, what is there. Yeah, see, if I look at Boyle's yes, Law here... One I bar on ground and zero bar in space. Dividing by zero is what I have a problem with. And but you're not dividing, dividing by zero. We, we need to make this very, very clear. You're not dividing by zero. You can say we're dividing by almost zero, but that's okay, completely sure. different when you're dividing a number. So okay, point I'm... zero, 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 zero. However yeah. many zeros you want, one at the end is yes. not zero. So uh, 11 fine. zeros. Okay, so I'm dividing by zero with 11 zeros to the right. And All inside right. that formula, that That's is it. going to be a... a what is the, the what is this formula about? Uh, that, it's called Boyle's Law. This is natural yeah, but, but law. Is it, what did they, did they do? Yeah, what it, is the it, law? Okay, well, I, we went over this so many times already today. It's yeah, gonna, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, didn't hear it. Yeah, and probably, I, maybe just read it, because I know you speak German, I, right? I, I I, I don't see how Boyle's law applies to this situation. It, it doesn't. Okay, it's okay, you yeah, you don't see it, but do you see where, I, where I'm coming I'm from? Asking, I'm asking for clarification. Okay, so yeah. Boyle's law, you want to use Boyle's law. So what portion of Boyle's law do you want to use on this? Why do you want to use Boyle's law? The uh, amount of pressure, um, what is Boyle's law telling me? It's, it's telling me that how far, essentially how far the gas is. Well, Guys, uh, when you introduce expand. Boyle's Law, it gets unnecessarily complicated. The point is, as you go up, the pressure gets lower. So there has to be, like, what sort of rigid fabric or rigid material are these um, astronaut suits <laughs> made out of that do not allow the pressure to expand? If you can use a spacesuit... Duct tape. And, yeah, if you can use a spacesuit for the a vacuum of space why can't that same spacesuit then be used to dive deeper than 300. Okay, okay. Versus, um, versus, uh, uh, aye, aye, aye. Well, this, this is a very good question pressure versus external pressure Here. but yeah it is the same idea Th this is a very good question because the pressure differential isn't greater um it's greater at depth than it is in space the pressure differential that's what that's what's being um discussed yeah, but you're also talking about mechanical implosion versus mechanical that, explosion. That's that's perfect. Yeah, you're you're gonna have different effects like that because of the nature of the um the suit and the pressures that are occurring on the outside. You're absolutely right. But to the to answer your base question, why can't we take a spacesuit and go uh, at depth to a certain depth? It's because of that the pressure differential, the strength of the container of the spacesuit is not good enough to handle um great differential pressures just small yeah. if you wanted to make it a, an analogy what you want to do is take the spacesuit down to 30 uh let's say 33 feet increase the pressure by one bar and then try and uh, sorry by um uh, to let's see 14 to 18 uh, psi internal to the uh, relative pressure of four bar uh, up to four psi when you're at depth now come up to the surface will that spacesuit explode yeah, you can't directly compare between the low pressure and the high pressure of like the ocean. You can you can like look at you know scuba divers and stuff and and get you know look at it reciprocally and you know get ideas of questions of how it would work um, in in outer space as it were, but you can't directly yeah, compare them. Into the suit, sorry to interject. The space suits the space suits you're talking about are made of a combination of light nylons spandex fibers and plastic tubing uh liquid <laughs> cooling right. tubes what's a bicycle exactly tire they made of what's like, a bicycle tire made of yes rubber exactly rubber? Rubber. Right. And, yeah uh, well how much pressure delta can a uh, your uh, high speed racing bicycle take you, you can put up to 100 psi in one of those you know that's right yeah. i got 120 psi in mine that's yeah like 10 bar. that's right and I can so that you can withstand the very thin materials, ten bar of difference. Yeah, easily. Now the I mean, funny thing is that tires are a bit more rigid, though. I, yeah. I came to think of a funny little thing that my physics teacher actually did um, about this uh, structural integrity stuff. 
Imagine you have containers that can hold 50 PSI. You have three of them that fit inside each other. And then you take them and, and obviously put them inside each other and you have a host leading out to the outside to each of them. And then you fill the outer one and all the other ones to 250. Then you fill the next one and then uh, and the innermost one with 50 more. And then you fill the innermost one with 50 more. So in theory, by that layer cake of, of pressure there, you have 150 PSI in the inner one, 100 in the next one, but only 50 on the outside. None of these sure, contain- beautiful words, bro. Beautiful no, words. I, but... I know where he's going with this. It's kind of the way none multiple of stage rockets work. Yeah, none of these containers by themselves can hold 150 PSI. But because one is holding the next, holding the next, they can hold 150 inside. Yeah, it really. Yeah, this is a way like um new like uh turbine engines work. They yeah. create multiple layers of uh of pressure, while yeah. not what never breaking the mechanical limits of any of them. Same thing with rockets too. Like the rockets are venting out the you know. So yeah, this is a really good concept, but it's not something that is employed in space. They just kind of hand waved it. They talked about this shit. They faked it in the '60s, and now yeah. they're kind of stuck with what their claims that they made in the '60s. They good, just said that the what astronaut. You... Okay, here, ready? I'm almost there. Ready? The the suit that they presented that, that could work on the moon would not work on the moon. It wouldn't have worked anywhere. Yes, so now not. they're now they're fucked because now they have to show people in low orbit using roughly the same type of suit. Otherwise, like. Fuck! If we show them in a in a basically in a um a, a Iron Man suit, why did this other suit work on the moon then? But, why do you need an Iron Man suit? Chris, yeah, you, you need a hard skin suit with that many yeah. zeros. Why? Why? So no, no, need... no, hold on. Do you think that? Hold on. I think I think I see it now. So, okay. if are you saying that there is a big difference between point one and point zero 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 one as far as um pressure differential do you think that's oh, a yeah. Yeah. Each time, that's, each the time guy, that's where you guys get it wrong no no no, montreal relax relax i'm asking yeah. a specific question yeah i got you each time you each one of those zeros is a significant factor it it, it isn't as far as pressure differential because we no, can it, experience it, whole number of pressure, pressure. yeah yeah that's no that's fine it went if it applies but, but what i'm saying is we can experience whole number pressure differentials and our bodies can handle that. So the difference between 0.1 and 0. 0.00001 is pretty negligible. So that's I don't see the difference. That's where you make your mistake, bro. Yeah, so that's, that's where you make your mistake. No. See, I'm happy today. I mean, I love this server. And I, I used to only come here like once a week or whatever, but I've been coming here more often because it feels like we start out like we're like a roller coaster. It starts out really rocky and crazy. And once everyone calms down, you just got the nice camera shot as you pull back into the you know, the beginning. So through all the loops and all the turns, we eventually end up where in a, in a pretty good spot. I, so I don't I don't see those two numbers as being vastly different. Yeah, um, okay. I see them being vastly different as far as numerical digits, but as far as the values that they represent, they are extremely small, even though the number is long uh digit wise you're delusional bro you have no idea what it takes to reach this kind of torque i, I know, you I know. That, was a, that was a good bro. argument my talking like that sorry that was a good that about. was a good argument crit what do you think uh, i i yeah, in my I, mind these numbers are incredibly okay. small so the differences are relatively small even though the digits are long incorrect well incorrect. i can i can understand be more wrong if you try yeah i accept your answer you don't need power the only problem is to get the air molecules out of the space See, that I is the problem you guys are it's not by machine power to pump something you can't reach these atoms they're flying around and you can't can uh, collect them that is the problem not the power to take them out now let, let's do this the symbol way because i know crit at least has the paddy manual um I'll say again you have the paddy dive manual right yeah, uh, not in front of me, but yeah. No, no, but you, you read it. You you're vaguely familiar with. Yeah, one. well, this is basically what happened. From my, I've been diving. No, no. no. Okay, go ahead. Let's do the symbol thing. What does PSI yeah. mean? Yeah, the pound per square inch. Pounds per square inch. Perfect. 
Uh -huh. So the difference between three pounds per square inch and zero pounds per square inch, how much is that per and square inch? The question is when the nominal pressure versus the nominal the volume. No, 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 no. Don't get volume involved. How much is that difference? Yeah, one it will depend. Okay. And one side is three. What's yeah, the you, difference? You would have to talk about the uh how many significant values are there no. and also hey, what, two. what is the difference okay no i see three and zero well three three and zero yes if you're Yo, talking it's about a red three, herring bro they're trying to like ask what you the, no, three, i get I, I get where they're coming from it's zero so point zero three, or something no yeah. what is the difference you're talking about what's the difference between three and zero okay three and zero point zero 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 right Equivalent of zero. What okay. is the difference here? Okay. Well, I, 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 too many people Yo, are talking. Can we skate no, exactly. by these Next, dumb questions? Stop, stop, allow, allow him to just answer it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what you're asking is, what's the difference between three PSI? The pressure, you know, the pressure right? difference. Okay. It's three like, PSI, right? Longer. Three? Okay. Three pressure per square inch, right? Pounds per square inch. And point... Zero 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 zero. Okay, zero, zero, three, let's right? go with this. Let's talk about this is zero like, thing. No, yeah, that's him, a lot I, of zero. Hey, 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 I, 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 let him I, answer. I want to say something. Let let's drink. Let's drink. Let him answer. Let him answer. Yeah, that's the a difference different. between three and near zero. What is it? Yeah, each significant value. Would you count whatever your significant value, especially more so if you're talking about the uh the material? Say if the so. material. It can only be tested using what significant value. Then you start okay. counting those significant values. Okay, uh, where come this? No, it was my it's question. Something. Where, where did it come from? Like, no, mine. What, 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 it, it, mine it, sort. One tor is how many quicksilver millimeter? Seven hundred sixty okay. millimeter quicksilver is one tor. Yes. See, trying to fudge the math to talk about something that isn't what it is. Pressure. You wouldn't say what's the difference one between tour. this It's one tour. It's one tour. How much okay. millimeter quicksilver is that? Mercury. I don't know. 760 millimeter mercury. It's one tour. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure. That, that is what it's starting. What's that? And then we take the pressure away. The, the column of mercury gets shorter and shorter and shorter. And that if you're on the half of the halfway, we have 0 0.5. Uh, Tor. We get, get okay. the negative, negative uh, 0 0.5. Yeah. And we go lower and lower and we reach the end of the column. Base. We are close to the bottom of our column. And that is your negative number. There is no negative. It, is, it started by no, one. It's a negative. Okay, you guys are missing. It's not really a negative number. It's a negative exponent. No, it is it's not, not a negative, negative number. Negative. Right, right. Right. It's a negative exponent. It is only, only negative yeah. by yeah. starting by one. You know, it's not, I'm not saying it's below zero. I'm saying it's a yeah. negative exponent to each significant so, value. You explained it to him that yeah. the, the problem is here that you that he started by one. I know, I know, I know. And then the, he 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 knows it's not a negative number. I'm going to say this one sentence statement that everyone's no one's saying, and it's the most important part, which is what difference in mathematics means. When you say pressure difference. What's the difference between these things? It has no. It, it, it doesn't matter what the significant numbers are because it just makes it closer to zero. Because the difference just means you're subtracting one number from the other. So that's all you're doing when you want to know what the pressure difference is between these two pressures. You subtract one pressure from the other. That's all. That's all. That's it. Well, yeah, that's that's otherwise, to maintain those pressures, you need thicker and thicker walls and more and more chemical intervention to, to get the so last bit about. of moisture in the air. So, based off of that off tendency, you need thicker response, walls. Man. And more medical intervention. I'm sorry, more uh, mechanical intervention to get that level of pressure. Oh, that of course be what the flatties are talking about. Interruptions, and and that means you lemon. And the that's thing. like at ten to the negative seven. I think for ten to the negative um, seven, fifteen foot walls or something like that. So uh, even lower than that, you think you need even more. Lemon. Now that we're done with 
pointless interruptions and nonsensical little numbers, right? Yeah, based off of the mechanical tendency that we've seen before, it looks like you need even more um, uh, mechanical intervention to get that vacuum. So that's not true. true. That's not true, Lennon. Let's so are you, are, you, are you afraid to answer my question? I've been muted. I've been silenced. When are you guys going to grow a pair of cojones? Now that we're done, we're just going to ask you, Skate. Just state the truth. Hey, and move on. Say, um, the That's negative like exponent it. beyond uh, one uh, signifies one division. at a time, you monkeys. Uh, well, one at a time, you ten to the zero. Idiots. You start dividing. So ten to the one is just ten. Ten to the zero is ten divided by ten. Ten to the negative uh, um, uh, one would be 10 divided by 10 divided by 10, so it would uh, approach the zero closer and closer and closer. And how much do you need to make to make Mercury is this? Yeah, no, hold on, hold on, don't, 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 please don't, with the limit. The limit of grown men, we're talking, just, we're talking, I'm saying something to uh, crit, okay? Now, I'm just, I wanted to, to think about what I've said and respond to it, to not something else somebody else is saying about something different, okay? So there's a pressure difference, difference is subtraction, crit. That was what I said. Yeah, that's not part of Boyle's law. You don't try to fudge the uh, ge grease the skids to make space vacuum possible. You actually put in the nominal numbers in there. So if one yeah. area is pressure X and the other area is pressure Y, you do those two numbers don't relate to each other. There's an equal sign between them. You don't you don't get to take those numbers out and put them into a different formula, grease the skids. And then put those numbers back in to say, wow, the pressures really aren't that different. Therefore, the volumes won't be different either. Hey, um, Chris, can I can I ask a no, simple question cannot. real quick? Um, with Just ask with a question no. about the difference, and I was gonna finish it. Okay, so you cannot. Just in here. Go ahead, sort. The pressure of the suit is 4.3 psi. The volume of the suit does not change because it is very very firm fiber that does not expand with a little bit of four pounds per square inch push so there that's it the volume never changes and the pressure stays four psi i was talking about okay, greasing this wins. natural law from my point of view natural law mm -hmm. always wins science wins yes. yeah i just told you how it wins i won okay. you look with Crit, with, with Boyle's law, are you under the impression that P1 and V1 is speaking of the spacesuit and the uh, air inside, and then P2 and V2 are applying to the vacuum outside this uh, spacesuit? No, the, the volume would be um, the spacesuit inside pressure, and the, the, and the V2 would be volume in a different pressure. No. Um, P1 and Boyle's law is applying to the same object and same um gas exactly what I just said. so right so yeah so i so don't know i don't understand how it's applying to when we're talking about pressure differential in space yeah, I, I don't think there is a pressure differential that you can add to that formula you have to add nominal numbers actual nominal so if you're going to say the spacesuit is uh v1 and v2 is also the spacesuit that's why you can make the, the formulas match because if I'm say if I'm right here, I'm sitting uh, in my office and I'm in a spacesuit, and I'm in my P1. And I don't go anywhere. My V1 stays the same, and then I, I compare it to the other side of the formula. My P2 and V2 equal because I haven't changed anything. If I change my volume or if I change my pressure, I'm going to have to make those two formulas equal again. So if I change, okay, someone want to jump in? You think much too complicated. You guys are overcomplicating it. Yeah. Straight up overcomplicating I it. it. I, said, I said as simply as you possibly can say it. The pressure difference is the difference between the two values. Okay, I want to I want to um respond to Sort. He yeah, said yeah. something about Social the internal you. pressure is four psi or something like that in the spacesuit. So Sort yeah. Sort has already won. There's no point addressing Sword anymore. No, hold up, hold up. Did, so did, when, when, when we're at high, let me let me finish this thought. So when we're okay. go, like climbing Everest or you know any mountains, going at high altitudes, um, you know there's a point at which the the, the human body can't function properly. There's like rapid um, carbon dioxide deprivation and stuff like that. And basically, it depends depending on what height you're at, the pressure is going to be a certain thing, right? You could calculate the the pressure. Uh, atmospheric pressure at certain altitudes there's there's calculators for this sort of thing right 
yeah. but basically yeah. there's so there's when you're stuck when you're climbing Everest there's something called the death zone I'm sure some of you guys yeah. are familiar with, with this concept but basically at some at one yeah. like you know specific well not specific but a, a range of you know an altitude at pressure your body just you know it can't function efficiently anymore and a lot of climbers you know die at this point and four psi would be way 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 below that so my question to Sora yeah. is how and are these astronauts living that. when the pressure is four psi uh, in their suit nothing to do with the psi it has to do yeah. with the percentage of air at that altitude sure. stop doing that yeah. Again, it has nothing to do with the question, you It mean, only has to do with how much air there is available. I, um, the question, the question was directed at sort. If uh, you don't mind, oh, okay. Yeah. Now you see the reason that that the uh, that the death zone is a thing at all is that the partial pressure of oxygen at that altitude becomes too low for for our organs to f properly function. <laughs> But the partial pressure is, is, you know, even at surface. Are you okay? Uh, the partial pressure at surface oh, is, is you know, a fifth of um, of uh, our fourteen point seven. So it's it's like, what is it, three or something, three psi or so? Give or take. Uh, and all you need is basically three psi of pure oxygen. Yeah, but okay. So that pressure is being exerted on the body at four psi. So. The lungs, you know, whatever you, it's basically the same idea, but in reverse with, um, with like a scuba, when you're like scuba diving. So the pressure of this, this gas, it expands as soon as it leaves whatever, you know, nozzle or it has, right? And as it's going into your body, which is uh, again, under this four PSI pressure, it's going to continue expanding. So the amount of volume that you have, that you like breathe in, is going to have enough oxygen? The four psi is the pressure in the suit. I and understand that, but that's also the pressure that's weighing. Oxygen. No, but that's also the pressure that's that's on your, it's not your more lungs. It's expanding and... anymore. It is four psi. Also four psi. It's not more. It's not 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 more expanding. You I know it's in, a four psi, but that's also the pressure that's acting in, on your you lungs, and acting on your body, and acting on the air that's as it leaves saying. whatever regulator. He's like he's saying that that's not the problem with the death zone or whatever it's called. And yeah, so. I, I, so, it, so, it, uh, so do you really want to confuse them with partial pressures? Remember that flat Earth can't even explain sunsets, and you are coming and with let, let, partial let's, pressure. Let's, but percentage specifically let's claims to have confusion a, into the mix. Ten degrees. So, so I, I suppose he knows what partial pressure is. So at mm -hmm. least can look it up. Hey, so hey, you guys hey. Stop talking about pressure and and and. Hey, math. enough of these partial pressure. Reality? Can you address my question, please, sometime sure. in the near future? Sure, sure. We'll, we'll, we'll address it. And uh, I've been waiting like an hour now. It's, it's not the pressures; it's the oxygen. Yeah. Yeah. The the pressure general, pressure of oxygen is is literally what's relevant. So if you put pure oxygen in at four, you'll be fine. No, again, okay, it's SC, hang about, on a sec. Hold SC, on. Uh, does your does your oh, go on, make it quick. All right. So in terms of the pressure of whatever gas, so let's say you again you're under you're in the ocean, right? Because there's more pressure like you know, pushing against your lungs that and the gas that's as soon as it's re released from, from the you know from the nozzle or from the regulator, it's gonna okay. compress. It's going to go into your body and, and your your lungs are act, you're, they're pushing the, the molecules together. So, yeah, while the, the partial pressure doesn't change, there's a lot more molecules of, of gas now entering your lungs, right? Within the same volume. Um, Do you agree? Me, you, um, no, not really. The partial pressure is always going to be that, that part of, of it that is oxygen and how much pressure that is at. So that, that 20%... At let's say we're at fifty psi, twenty percent of that is going to be ten, and and literally this is why you get the thing called oxygen poisoning. This is why you have to decrease the amount of oxygen when you go deeper. Um, all right, that. okay, all right. Yeah, Hang on a sec. Sc that. Sc's been Sc's been waiting for an hour to ask a question. Sc, yeah. does your question involve skateboards? If it doesn't, I will allow it. No skateboards. Go ahead. All right. So now, you guys been talking math and pressure and numbers and this and that. It's all Make it fine. quick. Beautiful. I, I, I'm with you all. You did your numbers. Okay. 
You figured out the volume, how much pressure should go. Now, shouldn't the next step be to test this said spacesuit in the conditions where you think you're going to be in? Doesn't that make sense? We did that. It's been done, mate. It's been no. done. No, 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 no. Don't say it's been done. Because there's only one video of it showing. And this video... No, this not. The, oh, let me finish. The astro an actual test. Not an actor. Not an actor. Not somebody in a, in a thing that shows it for four seconds. An actual working test of this suit. You know, uh, using the machinery, doing the arms, turning screws... Doing all the stuff. Don't you think that that should be tested? SE, this question that you've been waiting an hour to ask, you've already asked an hour ago. And it was answered. Yes, and I haven't got an answer. You're just showing it me was stuff answered. Of nothing of two seconds of video. Where is all this test? Where is all this uh, mock up of, of stuff that they're well, doing what makes and you, turning and changing? What, Where is all this what stuff? Makes your, what makes the video you're citing real? The video that I'm citing real? What makes it real the and the other I'm ones not the real? Black and white video? I have you haven't seen that one? Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen okay. it. Why is that real and not the other ones? I'm not saying it's not real. This is like mock-up stuff. This this oh, doesn't satisfy sake. me. You're, You're supposed to try it before you, you go deaf? and do it. That's right. Are you you got to try Let me ask you something. The Space Hotel is coming up. If they were to give you a suit... That you're gonna wear. You're delusional, up. mate. You want, you're being delusional. You we'll be put the suit on and get in the vacuum and show us idiot. how delusional we are. I'm a guess you're claiming you. you're claiming the black and white video you're is real. Why? It works, so it. So this you're is claiming the black and white video, video right? is I'm real. Right? Why? You why I believe it's real? Are you freaking serious, dude? You're claiming it's real. Why are you claiming it's real? This is the answer. No, this, of it's all the stuff real. I told you, this is what you picked to ask me. Really? Not show me ASC, hey, you idiot. Look. Look, here's the proof you want. Here's the yeah. yeah. We've we'll shown right you here. that, you idiot. No, you hey, hey, me. Hey, hang on. 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 Hey, AC, we've already shown you the evidence, you, you didn't idiot. Show me fuck all you clown. <laughs> There are four me? separate videos that have been of what? Of what exactly? One is this, this streaming area. through the this streaming through the text chat, mate. Right, yeah. right. So th this is it—a two-minute video, you clown. This is what they've done in fucking twenty so years. So what about the one where astronaut Dr. Norman Thalgod in training? Right. Eleven minutes forty-seven. Eleven yeah, minutes yeah, yeah. forty seconds. Two so minutes of video. That That's it. That 11 right. minutes, 40 seconds. You guys, hold this up, hold up real quick. For you. This is enough for you. Hold up real quick. All right. Everything sounded good. I got up, did did a couple of chores real quick. I came back, and it just completely spiraled. What happened again. is, you, you, you got story. up and did some chores. You got up and did some chores. That's what the problem was. Yeah, I posted um, one this, your, uh, so drop what, email this, this about video, one of the... Just relax, this video everybody. Video suffice for you guys? A two-minute video? Essie, yes. go ahead and explain why this is a problem for you. Why, why this is it's a, a problem. joke, bro. Not I'll explain to you exactly. I'll explain to you why. You have You're delusional, special... Man. You're going to let me finish? You have a special Maybe. forces team, right? Now, they're going to train okay, in the mountains ahead, where it's 10 below. Are they going to go train in a swimming pool? No, these aren't in swimming pools. These are in vacuums. Are they going to go chain in the desert? They're going to encounter mountainous conditions of minus 10? Is in the swimming pool? Or are they going to oh, I think he's got a mental Alaska, disconnect. Maybe. Even in the swimming pool. I think he's got a mental disconnect. Yeah. No, you're no, I get it. delusional, bro. No, you are the delusional. Yeah. You're being delusional. Every video, video, every video that's important to you is in a vacuum pool. chamber, Essie. Hello? Yeah. They're showing you people train in a swimming Hello? pool, and then they're going to go in space. And the, none, none of the videos have people in swimming pools. They're all people. What about the guys? What about the current videos of uh, guys in spacesuits in vacuums? What about those ones? Dude, you're showing the two minute videos. I want to see mock ups, mock ups of the work they're going to do. They're going to train in uh, how, space. How long is a black and white video? Long enough for the tube to come out, and the guy almost died. That's how long. It's to show us how ridiculous <laughs> it is. Those it's suits it. do not... And you believe it. that? Essie, how many videos of people testing dive suits have you seen? What does that have to do with anything? What do you or do you not believe the black and white video? Why don't you just say, Essie, you know something? You have a point there. 
Why don't you just say that? I don't have a point, SC. You're, 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 you're saying you, you're asking for something that, and we're showing I, I, You're not showing me yeah. shit, man. You're showing me a fucking guy in a, in a, in a, in a I, chamber, which he did nothing. What did he, he wave at us? What did he do exactly? I think I, I, I Training. I identified. Training. I think I identified the exact issue, and it's the long digit numbers. So on that point, in, in the chat, I posted two equations, and I'm asking which one has a greater uh, pressure differential. I could give a shit about your equations. I, I know you can give a shit because you, you don't do your equations, I know. Put that suit that you equated should work. Again. Put it in a pressure suit. So put it in a pressure environment, show me, and I'll shut up. Again, you again, I know you don't care because you don't they understand. Mean nothing. There's, Zero. there's a big difference. And I know that the second equation there has long digits there, so it's intuitively um, greater than the top one. I know it's intuitively. It the sun don't shine. Show I know. Me a suit I know. What you're saying is like not on. Uh, and I I don't you understand. Do you have nothing to also, nothing. I, you just speak also. Numbers, I, I understand that, but I understand that the problem lies with the long digit numbers rather than the actual values they're representing. That's no, the has exact, nothing it, to do with numbers, brother. Nothing has it, nothing to do with yes, numbers. Yes, 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 it does. Show me the biggest numbers in the world. I don't give a shit. After you, you do your numbers, gonna, put this. You hold on. Put this the together. Okay. No, it's not. It's not that you okay with numbers and equations. Really, you're gonna let him obfuscate like that? Well, you, it's not you're not. It's, look, it's not looking good. All right, not looking. That's good. right. Not looking good. It's not that you don't give a shit about the numbers. You can't give a shit about. No, the numbers. I accept your numbers. You your can't numbers are do good. Hundred percent. I believe don't. your numbers. Now show me your numbers working in the environment that they say they do. You've been shown a. No, a you're, of no, you're, no, 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 no. I believe he's trying to do that. Put your money where your mouth is. Put your numbers to the test. I don't yes. believe your numbers. And they, and they have been in, you've shown them a couple times. No, once. Once, and they almost killed the man. You and said you believe the numbers, now you say you I don't believe the out, numbers. My tongue started to bubble. Uh, is the guy on the treadmill, is his, is his tongue boiling? Before he passed out, he said, no, I no, felt no, my no, tongue no, boiling. No, no, no. Yes, the word for word. Out of my mouth, the guy on the treadmill, who is in a vacuum chamber performing uh, exercises, um, is his uh, tongue boiling? Which guy are you talking about? The it's video in the text chat, get... mate. We're posting the foolish has been posting videos for you, SC, and you're not even looking at them. Yeah, yeah, I and saw you're, the you're video. You're claiming, you, you're claiming that we're not nothing. giving you anything. They mean nothing. Oh, no. mean oh, nothing. Well, then why, why do you bring up a black and white video with the Listen guy's tongue dude. boiling? Listen to me, dude. You have a hard time comprehending words. Very hard time comprehending. So do you. I will try again. Go ahead, man. There was a car that caught fire once. Cars don't exist. Okay, go ahead and, and say your words. I will try again. If you have a, a Delta team and they're going to do operations in Afghanistan in the mountains, are they going to go and train in the lowest part of Earth? Or are they going to find high altitude, low weather, cold weather training? Which are they going to do? Is this uh, supposed to be an analogy? So what are you what are you expecting to see then? What, what, what would I'm you like expecting to see this. If you're gonna train and put our astronauts in harm way, I'm expecting them to train in the exact environment which they're gonna be exposed to, not in a freaking swimming pool. Well, actually, the that's swimming pool would be your best bet because oh. that that's gonna simulate zero gravity as best. So what? How about the other things? Now the other things. How about the pressures? The pressures? Well, it's a little bit How about the radiation. You're showing you swimming How about pools. the heat? How about the cold? We're only going to train for buoyancy? Is that it? No, that, no. We're not showing you swimming pools. We haven't showed you any swimming pools. We're, we, we're, we sh They should be working in this vacuum of space. And so we showed them working. In no, you didn't. You showed a guy, one guy in a little container who even knows, we don't even know what pressure was in there. Well, we don't know what pressure was in there with the guy who passed out either. So that video is not. Why do you believe the black and white video? <laughs> you don't know what was in there. <laughs> Man, I don't know. It, it, I don't think do you even believe it? Do you even brain. believe it? I mean, I just can't you just, understand. You're just it. delusional, man. If, By your bro, own standard, you're not hold yourself to your own to standard. This. Hold yourself. Hold yourself to your own standard. Stop being a hypocrite. You're what delusional. Hypocrite? You're the hypocrite. You're going into you're math. You're a hypocrite. Stop you're telling hypocrite. me what you are. The you are a hypocrite, the biggest hypocrite. I just showed you. Stop any telling me what man, you are. After what I told, what after what I said now to any intelligent human being would say, man, he has a point. They're training for desert and they're going to the mountains. That doesn't make sense. Any intelligent human you being. Know, you know, would you are right. You would have understood. You are that. right. What you're saying doesn't make sense. I see. The reason why we use math, especially when I brought it up, 
is because it's it's the difference between possible and impossible. If we do the math for the the strength of a container, and it shows that it's impossible to be in a particular environment, um, and then we test it and see, oh shit, yeah, it is impossible. Fuck me. That's why we do the math to make to, to separate between possible and impossible. That's I that's agree why. Every word with what you yeah, said, to, to get except for the fact where you should test it after you do all those numbers. And, and it has been it has to be been shown as well. It, there's no, more, no, there's more no, evidence. No. There's more evidence that they're in an actual vacuum in a spacesuit in the videos that we're posting than the uh, video that you're claiming to be true um, with less evidence of it being a vacuum. That's what's happening right now. Okay, so let me let me tell you this. You are sufficient by what you showed me. The man that you paid to go into harm's way. You are sufficient with the amount of training. One guy in a room in a suit. You 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 don't think that they should have went more and done more with these men that you're gonna risk their lives. How do you train to climb Mount Everest? How do you train? Do you climb, do you train you to climb pressure? Mount Everest by going scuba diving. Mountain. That's what I would do. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I would go do you, scuba diving. Do you climb diving. the biggest mountain you can, or do you climb Mount Everest first? No, no, no I, I would go in the, in the ocean as deep as I can. That's what I would do to you climb. Train the for Everest? Oh, he's being sarcastic. Sorry. Yeah, that, 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 there's such a simpler point here, man. It's you. you the guys in a vacuum chamber. Okay, the James May video that I just posted also, he's he's got a glove in there. He's got the water boiling. Do you know uh, what he's, he's wearing that James May? You can see, you can see that the pressure, hold on, SC. He's the pressure's going down, okay? You're claiming that it's not, um, for some reason, it doesn't satisfy what you said. I think it's only because you're ignoring that it's actually being shown to you. But the astronauts in the vacuum chamber, the suit's being tested in the vacuum chamber. It's everything that you require. No, it's but, not. First of all, the yeah. James May that you just said, do you know that that's not a space suit? Did you know that? Pressure suit doesn't matter. We missed that. Check, check, testing one, two, one, two. Is my uh, microphone working? Is it? Check, check. Yeah, you can hear me. Okay, good. Yeah, you can yeah, stop checking. So, Kosho, you you were not aware that it's not a spacesuit. What James May is is wearing? Aware that it's sufficient to work in the vacuum chamber. So, right. it's just, it's sufficient oh, to work. You learned something new today again. again. Good, good on you. So, hey, uh, you see, I'm right about this. There? You cannot provide any yeah, evidence. Yeah, I'm here. You can, well, what, do you you about, about, what do you think about what SA is proposing there, Clay? Hey, hey, real quick, right? You want to see who's still logged to the server? There's a right, a left-hand side, and it kind of shows... Yeah, mate, who's... I know that. But sometimes oh, okay. people look like they're in, but they're not. Okay? Yeah, I got so I'm just, I'm I'm just, just double-checking. Yeah, thanks, yeah. thanks for the uh, thanks for the lesson on using Discord, mate. No worries. Yeah, no problem. Shove it up your jumper. And what do you reckon what oh. AC is talking about? Well, if you're going to be rude about it, go fuck yourself. Yeah, well, go fuck yourself. You were being bloody rude, underhandedly rude. You okay, okay, was? Yeah, if that, it, it was a joke, not a dick. You know, to take it that hard. Yeah, now, now we're oh, good. You don't, you don't, you don't know Aussie humor, then, do you, cunt? It, it's all good. Crit, what do you what well, do you think about? Right. What, uh, do you think about SE's uh, request? And then what he's using as evidence on his side, and then the evidence presented in the um, the chat box being presented yeah, I, the vacuum and stuff. What, what do you think? Yeah, I think I have to rejoin chat box. So last time I left it because a lot of porn was being posted, so it might be useful to, to rejoin. Are you sure you weren't in the NSFW room? What chat box? Um, room, right? Yeah, hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. Click yeah, what right chat box above. Were you in? You know, yes. there's um, different chat boxes. You can click on them and you'll see different things. It's yeah, on the right. left hand side, mate. Yeah, on the voice left hand channel. side. <laughs> right here, a voice channel trivia chat box. It was like Zamek had posted some uh, Fuck an anime, idiot. some like anime porn or something. That is, like ironic. That. that is ironic that you were just teaching Waz how to use Discord, man. But yeah, we're in the debate chat boxes where we're always in. Right. So um, it's been posted a number of times. I only posted it more recently, so it's easier for you to find. But it's 57 after the hour, the BBC Studios, James May, blah, blah, blah. What what do you make of that? That's not a vacuum. Right. I, I'm glad that I asked Kima when I said uh, crit and we were talking to crit, but that's fine. Crit, what do you think? Um. Yeah, how, uh, how long is the video? Uh, I think it's only like two, three minutes, something like okay. that. Okay. Can I watch it and get back to you? Or do no, you of course. Me? Yeah, yeah. No, okay. I'm, I'm, I think we're genuinely uh, wondering. So, yeah. Yeah, the debate text box right now, it's that... <laughs> I went to go click on it. It says not safe for work. Yeah, that's weird. Do, you guys, right. Right. is it? Is what's it, going on, man? Is it debate? Like to... Yeah, right. You guys, is it not said not safe for work for you? No. You got your. We don't post not safe for work stuff in here, though. 
Yeah. So you got your rolls. Oh, okay. Depends on your it job, is, I think. It is not safe for work, but it is actually safe for work. Another yeah. globalist contradiction. But it's just the, the, yeah. the title will say that, but. The oh, because you only you only want eighteen people here, right? More than this, more that, than eighteen people here. No, eighteen year old or plus. Right. right yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I gotcha. Okay, I'm good now. The only reason why I left it the first time, like I said, Zanik was posting some weird anime shit, and I'm like, dude, this is yeah. that's weird, people, dude. Don't even go. You don't you don't, you don't want to But did he, did, he, did he post you a picture of the blue marble? Well, hold on. Let's okay. get to this vacuum. It's four minutes. Yeah, I'll yeah. be back. Have a look at that vacuum there. But was what I wanted to ask you about that vacuum is why did they close the door? <laughs> <laughs> what? Kimo, come on now. Why did they close the door on that vacuum chain? You, the door to the vacuum chamber. Yeah, why did they close it? I don't know, mate. Why? What would? Why would they possibly close the door on a vacuum chamber? Yeah, they're trying to replicate space. Yeah. Are there doors in space? Exactly. There you that, go. That, that's why they closed it. So it's just a wall now. Yeah, but why? Why would they close the door if they're trying to replicate space? Oh, they're only on, testing Kiva. the. They're what only testing the pressure. Come on, it's... Come on, now. Kiva, you can't have a vacuum without a container. Well, this you is what I'm that. trying to figure out. I mean, wh why did they even close the door if they're trying to rest <laughs> the space? Gets, this is when it gets derailed, in my opinion. Yeah, Kimo, you shouldn't be asking that. You should be asking, why the hell is there a door there in the first place? That's what I'm trying to figure out from you. If, if space is, um, you know, without the container, without a door, why are we using a door? Would there be I mean, a difference? If you're, get, if you're going to be stupid, just get down to brass tacks. Why do you think that's silly? Stupid. Does space do, have a do door? You, think, you just do you think, there, space do you think that there would be a difference? <clears throat> why? You just said space doesn't have a door. So why are they using do you think, a door? Do you think that there would be a difference between um, that room at being a particular pressure and then space being at a particular pressure and you're testing the pressure? Do you think that there would be a difference in your testing? Yeah, absolutely. Big difference. What difference? What difference would there be? You've got a wall. No, no, no. And you're testing pressure, and you're you're simulating the pressure of space. You're with, not though. Uh, That's the thing. The you're pressure not, of not... this room. What would be different within your testing? Because you're not testing space. You're testing. You're vacuum. testing pressures. No, you're testing in a chamber, but space is not like that. So the suit would yeah, work but... differently. Let, let's get real specific. In that video, are they um, in a vacuum? Not in the James May one, no. Why Why not? Because the water, they don't show... Um, well, we can, well, we can't see why it's okay. boiling. I'm uh, back. Yeah. I, I watched the video. Do you want to get my take on it? Um, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing I got from this is that the conversation we... I think was it two days ago, where people were talking about that uh nasa and stuff has nothing to do with the military you could see this full thing was a military op everyone involved except for the reporter was part of dod then the air force air force in the air force yeah but it was a a, a testing thing for uh for space for space flight it, it was so, there was something they were doing for, for the executive branch of the federal government were the two already? What's your contention, oh, man? We're showing him in a vacuum yeah, chamber with the space. Yeah, suit. They, they asked me what was my takeaway from this, right? Okay, so number two, uh, the glove. You could see right away that with just very even low altitudes, the glove expanded its volume very quickly, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. To consider that volume, that that glove is almost like a spacesuit. It expanded very quickly just with a little bit of decreased pressure on the outside of the glove. The air inside, the volume of the air inside increased. Wow. I um, mean, that, 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 that is, we don't know if they just blew that up from, uh, we, I mean, we don't think, do you reckon it's a real vacuum? Well, no, they do. A, they said they, they basically did uh, 70, they decreased pressure to 70,000 feet. So it wasn't a vacuum at all. It was just at 70,000 feet. So the next thing they did was a glove completely explodes, mechanically fails. Right. And that's what exactly I've been talking about. You made the glove stronger. Would it, would it have failed? 
Yeah, if the glove is stronger, obviously not. The it's glove is stronger. Okay. And then one then finally at one point he said, We're gonna simulate canopy failure for one second. And even inside the pressurized suit, he's completely disabled. He can't move, he can't do anything at all. All he can say is like, Yes, I can breathe. That's the only action he could take until they, they bring him uh back to like a a, a canopy non failure situation. So I would like to see how is an astronaut or an astronaut in a completely zero pressure environment, how is he able to do anything other than, yes, I can breathe? If this guy is 70,000 feet inside the pressurized suit, and yeah, he's got no training, he wasn't prepared for this, it was like, when, hey, check it when out. You say that that's all he, when you say that's all he could do, though, is that all he did, or did he say, this is all I'm able to do? Yeah, you saw that they, they depressurized the, the quote-unquote canopy. He gets sucked to his chair. His body goes complete limp, and they say, can you breathe? And he's like, yes. He didn't uh, wave you don't his know hand. That he, you don't know just, that he couldn't wave his hand, though. Yeah, I, I, I do ask you what my takeaway was, right? My takeaway was he looked right, like I, he was physically disabled at that point. And canopy failure, you can see him moving well, his hands around. And the other thing I would say is a space suit. Okay, I mean, yeah. I don't know about a flight suit. Yeah, I missed the hand I don't know thing. about a flight suit. But a... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Jim. But a... oh, well, I think that's important if he did move. Yeah, I, I missed but the... a, I... a space suit has a... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I thought you gave it to me again. All right, all right. A space suit has a, like a, um, a nylon restraining layer. So this, at least with the Apollo ones, and the new ones are, are sort of a similar-ish design. But they have like a rubber bladder part, I think neoprene actually, and that um, that's the bit where the the air is contained or, or oxygen, and then that is covered with a like a nylon restraining layer, like kind of like um, you know, like if you buy like a bag of oranges, and they're in like that nylon netting type stuff. I don't know if you, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I probably... got you. Yes, yeah, stuff like that that basically uh, the, the covers bladder. that rubber, that bladder part, and stops it from expanding too it's far. Fiber reinforced, in other words. Right. It it still move. So that it cannot stretch. And that, and then above that, you get the, you know, uh, the suit that you actually see. And then by all accounts, it really sucks to try and use these suits because it is you've got to use a lot more hand strength, a lot more effort to do everything that you're doing. How about that's why, you, that's why it's only, that's why it's only pressurized you for, to like four psi. Hey Jim. Yeah, so I mean that was just seventy thousand feet. So imagine what it's like in actual Se space. The only difference between seventy thousand feet and actual space is half a psi. It's nothing. It's the only difference. It's half yeah, a and PSI. look at that. So he did move his hands. But his hands kind of looked like he was trying to push the suit in, like some sort of a reaction. Like he wasn't like he had full dexterity. Well, control. What was the pressure in that suit, though? We don't know. Was that a pure oxygen suit that at only four psi? I don't know. Yeah, I but don't think he, could, I don't think he was breathing pure oxygen. Yeah, he was hurting though. You could tell that wasn't comfortable. If, even still, um, it's probably because the suit is heavy, and he's still on Earth's gravity. So regardless of the pressure, it's still a heavy ass suit for someone who's not training particularly uh yeah which is probably why he didn't pass out if it had it been in like but a low g environment that probably would have more accurate hey guys the james may suit is is the flight suit the u2 uh right uh, high, uh, that observation correct there. not a space suit like you guys were thinking before it's a flight suit yes and which is less capable than a space suit and it's able to handle stuff which is correct. obviously way less capable but you know it's still working pretty good isn't it all we got to be strong enough to handle one more half of PSI. Yeah, I would say it, it was just enough to keep him breathing, and that was it. Yeah, well, you're not supposed to take the canopy off your U2 spy plane stratosphere. <laughs> there you go. But do well, that. But if he's going to do a spacewalk, that's kind of without no canopy on it. Right. You go down, you get into a, a decompression chamber, and over a period of hours, you get yourself down to 4 PSI. Then you go outside in a 4 PSI pressure delta. What are you talking about? What is the problem? <laughs> it's not going to be a problem from, from 14 to 4. No, 
actually a good video. It's better than the older ones that show the, the astronauts being completely disabled when they... This old video. Well, he said, go into a decompression chamber and go down to 4 PSI. Like, it's no joke. Like, it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, the walk car. Delta, and you do it over time. Yes, I don't know if that's even possible, people bro. Climb Mount Everest. They, yeah, people yeah but they don't go down to 4 yeah, PSI. They, I think they do. I think Mount Everest is about 4 it is. PSI, isn't it? No, at the top. top. But what is it? It is. Maybe, maybe the peak of it. Hey, yeah, the, the, yeah, that looks okay. And then they supplement with oxygen. So if we were to the train peak. to climb Mount Everest, would we train in the desert, uh, guys? Jim, what, what, what would we train? Ezzy, we heard your incredulity. Get on with it. But I want to hear his gem take on it, because, you know... But gem what are you talking about? Training in the desert for what, specifically? Yeah, okay, like, uh, the astronauts, they train for space. They train for space in a swimming pool. So I'm asking right, you, yeah. if you were okay. in charge of, let's say, a Delta, Delta Force team, they were to conduct a mission in Afghanistan, in the mountains, where it's cold and, and you know, low pressure, would you train them in the desert? Or would you find a suitable spot, let's say in Alaska, for example? But it depends what specifically what you're training them for. What specifically were they training for in the desert? They're training for combat, like the, what they usually do. I'm sorry. What are you asking me again? I'm confused. Sorry. Right. Exactly. It, 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 sure. What, I'll start from the beginning. If, if you were to train, very, if you were to train astronauts for yeah. space. Right, yeah. in a vacuum environment, right? Would right. you train them in a swimming pool, or would you train them in a pressurized, uh, unpressurized? Well, again, it de it depends specifically what you're training for, doesn't yeah, it? Now, when cool. when we a see them, walk. hang on, right? So when we see them training in a in a swimming pool, usually they're training for some sort of operation that's got to be performed on the outside of the ISS. So for that, for that, what you want to do is you want the astronaut's body and, and uh, tools and things like that, you want them to be behaving in a similar way to how they would do in space. You don't just want to test if they're capable of being in a vacuum, do you? You want that astronaut wants to know how his body's going to move. So you create this situation of neutral buoyancy and a sort of a, a relatively cheap way to do that is in a swimming pool. And then you can train an astronaut to some extent that he will have some experience of how his body is going to move in um, the uh, zero G environment of an orbit. So well, that's no, right. you that if you want to, that's yeah. a good point. It, yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't agree with you more, Jim. But now that takes one aspect away, right? We're talking about the buoyancy of space. Fine, right. But how about the radiation? How about the vacuum? How about the heat? How about the cold? Don't you think that you would want to train your men that you're going to put in harm's way, in harm's way for those conditions as well? Yes, and, and what they did, as he and right. what is described by one of the guys that has worn these suits in the vacuum chamber is they made it freaking cold. And because he was standing on the, the floor plate, uh, and the suit wasn't made to walk on it because it is a space suit, not a moon thing. He froze his feet. So they had to put him on an insulating plate. Imagine that. It was cold. Right, right. So how, what did they do on the moon? Did they put him on an isolated plane? How, how did they figure, how did they work that out? And they have these fancy boots with like insulators. It works kind of like your window boots. Right, Okay. So now how about the rest of the stuff? How about, don't you think that they would want to test how the digits on their fingers work when they're manipulating equipment like screws and, you know, when they have to do stuff, when they have to fix right. stuff? And don't they you did, think they should train and for that? They, tra well? they, they trained for all that. Where? Yeah, show me. Show me. Well, there's, e there's, even, there's even some uh, uh, photos of them training for Apollo doing that, of Armstrong and Aldrin surrounded by a press pack in a in a big room at nasa uh you know picking up rocks with tools and things like that i mean I, have you not seen those right but don't you yeah. think uh, after like 50 years with the new suits they then, would be wanting to test more stuff and don't you think that there sh should be more video available of this testing because i haven't there's, been able to find any Jim. there's also there's also photos of armstrong and aldrin as you actually as you said out in the desert 
and what they were doing there was uh, taking photographs of rocks. They were they were training their geological skills. Um, so th so there's a whole range of training that goes on in different places in order to to, to train for different things. And be because it's you know in the case of the moon, obviously it's you know we haven't got a moon that we can just go to on Earth and and train. Then you you know or or a, or a place with with, you know, very similar conditions, you have to sort of try and recreate each condition, uh, you know, it, it, separately, perhaps. Agreed, but we have uh, such yeah, a chamber, yeah, Jim, on, and we that. haven't yeah, used it once yeah. or... That's not true. With Apollo, with Apollo, there, were, there, were, uh, there was the 2TV1 test where they put uh, three astronauts in the um, uh, uh, command service module in the vacuum chamber for a week, and there was the 2TV2 test where they put two astronauts in the lunar module in a vacuum <laughs> chamber for, I think, four days, I think that one was. I think Jose had a point to make. So they did, they did test in the vacuum chamber. Not sufficient to my, uh, to my and to well, anybody's, that, I think, with, because... with the brain, because, Jim, there's no video of them actually using tools recently. I mean, come on, there has to be... Like if I if I if I if I Google right now Delta Team if I Google now Delta Team uh, training procedures I'm gonna find up a whole bunch of shit how they train the obstacle course uh, the works and you'll yeah, find sure, because you'll find the same for astronauts look because that's very training you know that that's very fun to see them training in in a vacuum you know. Everyone yeah, would will love watch to it. See that, yeah. No, we have them in space doing this. We don't need to see them training. Ah, uh, is that an obfuscation? Yes. 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 I mean, two well, months ago, Essie. Two months ago, how NASA tests new spacesuits. You obviously didn't look very fucking hard. Yeah, show me, man. Show what me. advantage is this, idiot? But, but think about it. If you're going to put someone in a vacuum and, and train them to, to be in space, what's beyond them being in the vacuum what what else is there to do i i, I don't I'll really get it. I, I got this i'll explain you okay. uh, oh sorry i cut somebody off go ahead oh no it was just it's well, I, I, was, I, I got a good example for this yeah how about how about gem how about them in a vacuum do, does the vacuum affect the, the way the fingers would move the same as being in water or yeah see in, for sure. scuba diving you have it where you get narked at certain depths, and people need to know at what depth they get narked and then be prepared for it mentally and physically and be watch out for the signs and the warning signs. So just to be like, so here's somebody who can never be in that type of environment before and scuba dive just because they have their what advanced scuba narc? Yeah, what is what does that Oh, mean? narked. Yeah, narked is nitrogen narcosis. Yeah. Yeah. That's not right. going to happen in a pool. Dude. And how does that happen in what we're talking about? What, you what, yeah, for what about it? how the fingers move, Jem? Would that be Who introduced the red herring here? Would that be different in a pool than a vacuum? Wouldn't they need to train for Jeremy, the why is he yeah. worshipping the red herring? Have you seen those two guys that do tests when they put a... a on, let me answer Jeremy's chamber? question. Let me ask, answer Jeremy's question. You could, create, you could create that in the same way, just with the pre a, having the right pressure differential, though, right? Does that as happen as, in the water, or where they as train? Long as, or? as long as the suit is pressurized, it it, it doesn't matter, does it? Right, exactly. You can't get nitrogen narcosis if you're if you're not at a higher pressure. That's the reason why scuba divers that don't use a pressure suit get it, and why and why pressure scuba diving suits you don't get nitrogen narcosis. And, and by the time an astronaut gets to get inside a spacesuit, he's had plenty of uh, tests. To see whether you know what he can withstand in in in, in these terms, I'm sure. The ones that I am asking for, which do not exist, don't be so sure, Jim. No, yeah, I'm not. What, what, I, look, I'm sure that I'm sure that they don't stick him in a vacuum and and evacuate it and see how long it takes him to pass out. But they do. Not, but they is do. that what you got from what I'm telling you, Jim? Yes, that is what I got from what you're telling me. Well, then you, you, you haven't been you, listening. Okay, so oh. what what videos is it? What are you expecting to see in these videos that you aren't able to find? Very simple. 
two, three astronauts in that huge vacuum chamber, manipulating tools, showing, you know, how the fingers, because apparently moving the digits in your fingers under these pressures are but, very, but very Again, good. why do you need to so do that in a vacuum just... chamber? Why, why do you need to do that in a vacuum chamber, though? Because as long that's as the, gonna... Because as long as the suit is pressurized. Yeah, but what special conditions does the vacuum chamber provide that, that you can't... Why? Why, I'll, why I'll, do you I'll need the vacuum you, chamber? I'll, 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 I will explain it to you. It, it provides the exact... Well, go ahead, Jim. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Basically, according to Ralph Renet, right, he, he created a device... Where he put that, I mean, he made a pair, of, a glove in a vacuum chamber to simulate how one's hand would operate in a vacuum at four psi, according to the mm. pressure of the suits that they use, right? And he couldn't make a fist. He couldn't make exactly a fist. Exactly what I was going to tell them. But what, yeah. what, but what glove was he was he using? Well, he made. He made a he made it of a, of a material. It looked like rubber, but it was able to inflate to four psi, thus right. proving that you you didn't have dexterity. So, so don't interrupt. Did me. It... I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished. You couldn't pick up tools, screws, or anything, and he couldn't clench his fist. He had it switched uh... off. He could move around. He had full dexterity. He switched on the machine. It pumped it up to four psi, and you couldn't move. That was what he was trying to say. I yield the floor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well said, Jin. Yeah. What the difference between that, because that is literally a chemical rubber glove that he sticks inside there. And it does inflate, yeah, because there's nothing stopping it from inflating. But if you were to put something as simple as, as a canvas garden glove around it, it would never ever expand more than that canvas garden glove would stop it. And that would do just fine. You would just have, have it would be a little stiff, but you would have dexterity in it. Did but you not sure, just hear what he just told you, dude? Fun. Did you not just hear what Jim just said? Yes. And I told him how he was wrong. Wow. Yeah, he, it wasn't analogous to a spacesuit glove. So it didn't prove anything. He needed to do that with a spacesuit glove, didn't he? And then we he could see. He uh, demonstrated the pressure. Sorry to interrupt you, but he. He demonstrated that the pressure would restrict dexterity. That means you yes, wouldn't yeah. have of, of something that wasn't of it would restrict the dexterity of something that wasn't being used in space. His That's hands, true. his uh, hands, his legs, his body, his head. Okay, restriction didn't. He, he listen, listen. Wait, are you claiming that the vacuum made his his muscles and bones stop working, or are you claiming that the stiffness of this glove made it difficult for him to close his fist? Which is true? Are is it the glove that stops him from doing it, or or his bones in the vacuum? It could be both. It would be that the suit itself would inhibit movement. Right. So all we need to is the suit itself. And he did not provide the suit itself. He provided something else that we know would not work. So he didn't prove anything. And I have to go. You'll be all pleased to hear. No, yeah. don't go. I'm not Stay. pleased. I wanted to have more fun yeah, with you. Jim. Oh, oh, he's gone. <laughs> Damn. We'll see him next time. He gets triggered when space comes up. No, he probably had some real world thing going on. No. The simple yeah, show us the video of the I'm going to post the documents yeah, anyway for you. Yeah, tell me the post. video. I'm going to I'm going to post the documents relating to Ralph oh. Rene and NASA Moon America. Therein it talks about the 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 uh, the, the glove and, and uh various other topic matters, radiation and how they would have been killed and fried to a to a yeah, they're wrong. I'm going to post it right now. So Barbecued, yeah. stretched, yeah. cooked, what frozen. Is so <laughs> you guys you really go. need to realize it's not just Flat Earth that's calling out Nixon. There's a whole college industry of people who actually believe the globe who would think that the Apollo mission is completely debunked. And there's been people at that mess up. So I just want to do yeah, there's lots before of reasons. we get off topic, Chris. Um, so just on Jim's point of the inflatable glove thing. So I posted an article, I tagged Jin in it, he probably hasn't seen it, also tagged yourself, saw, uh, SE Montreal. Thank you. About Thank the you. development of the glove and the problems incurred and how they fixed it. Yeah. Sure, I'm dying to see that, sure. 
Well, you're but tired. then I want to see it in action. I want to see it in yeah, action. And I've that. already posted four different videos showing um, vacuum chambers and astronauts testing the suit, including someone going through a training session. Okay. So we're good. Yeah. Sounds pretty solid. Yeah, I don't see what the big deal is. I, I mean, see it. the idea that you can't design a fabric reinforced glove that can that can uh, sustain four and a half psi of pressure. I mean, what is the big deal? That is not that much pressure. It's freaking like nothing, dude. Four and a half psi is nothing. So Sorry, it's not according to Ralph Rene, it's not. It's a lot. You oh. wouldn't be able to move around in your suit. If you, you wouldn't have, have you when you have, have your bicycle tire inflated to four psi, it is so flimsy and easily like it's practically flat. When you, when you yeah, it, can, not, it can't even the support the weight of the bicycle. Not 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 according to the suit that you have on that you have on with the pliss, the uh, portable life site life support system on the back, keeping it inflated. You wouldn't be able to, like they said, you wouldn't be able to clean your face. It's you only four psi. No, you got it. You got it backwards. Hold on. I, 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 I posted the video. He, he's doing fine. He's putting the box oh, where they should be with the glove inflated. No problem. The bike tire thing you got wrong. What he would do is have the bike tire inflated to 100 psi at the volume and then measure the volume of the air inside. At surface level or at given pressure, then move it. Then move it to a different psi, and what would happen to the tire? Yeah. What are you talking about? This is like why the space doesn't work. We're dealing with four psi. We're not going to ever deal with a hundred psi delta in anything with space flight. So that's not a test we need to ever perform. No, the, the, what you're looking at here is would the tire mechanically fail in the first video that um, – oh, crap. I can't remember who wanted me to watch it. Uh, the, the one where the guy was uh, the reporter sitting in you know, the, the canopy at 70,000 feet U-2 uh, spy plane. If, that, if they would have brought a bike tire into there, what would have happened to the bike tire? If a bike tire had, let's say, it's incapable of 120 PSI, and I only inflate it to 100 psi. The bike tire will be fine. It'll yeah, go it would go to space easily. Yeah, it will go to space. Tire. Yeah. But if you yeah. take a bike, are you are you basically asking what happens if you take a bike tire and take it into space? No. What I was getting to is what would happen to a car if you've got a car designed to operate on the road, and then you have a car in space. <laughs> what, would, yeah. what would happen? Have you ever over? It, it wouldn't get. It wouldn't get too much traction floating around in space. Have you ever over? Right. We have a car in space. We know what. What happens. would happen to the tires? <laughs> what would happen to the cushion? The tires. Nothing would happen to the tires because there's only a 14 psi differential. Your yeah, tires have you know. far more strength than that. Than is there, you know, even tires that are rated to 60 psi, you probably have to inflate them over 100 before they burst. Okay. Yeah. And then you've got the, the seat cushions, the foam and the seat cushions. That's what would happen there? Is it, is it closed cell phone or open cell phone? I don't know. The if rubber? It's closed cell phone, it may expand a little. So what? Also, you got the, the cosmic radiation bombarding the thing. Will so it turn what? into like a... Yeah, how is that going to affect the car over the few hours that we watched it? Well, yeah, it just showed you that it looked so fake. It looks fake. You, you seem just, to it just lo it just looks very vibrant because there's no air. Did it look fake to you? No, it didn't look it looked fake. fake to me. It looked fake to Elon. What were, so. the, what were the key indicators to you that it looked fake? That there's a car in the vacuum of space. Oh, okay. So you had nothing. That uh, it didn't just crumble. It didn't just break. Why would it? it why would it crumble? What 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 about it? What 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 forces are acting on the car to make it crumble? Yeah, you've got uh, just natural law of the all the air molecules or more air specific. molecules. Be more specific. Natural law. Yeah, the, the same one we were talking about, what, Boyle's law. Where what what air molecules are you talking about? Yeah, like the air inside the tires. Yeah, but there's only a 14 psi differential. Tires can withstand far more than that. All they would, I mean, you could take any tire anywhere that's rated for 60 psi and inflate it to 74 psi, and it will not burst. Yeah. There's way more overhead in the design of a tire than that. Is one and a half for scuba and, tanks. And, and, and those tires... 100 bar it, at least. In the tire on your car, 
you know, most manufacturers, they might say 30 PSI, 35 PSI, but you look at the wall of the tire and it'll say, do not inflate more than 50 PSI. So, and that's within the operating range of the tire, not the burst pressure of the tire. That's like when it could hit a hard pothole at 80 miles an hour and not burst. You know, yeah, they also took off the, the mirrors and then they uh, put whatever mannequin was inside the suit that was completely unaffected by the vacuum of space. Yeah, why, why, why would it be? Natural law. Why would a mannequin well, be affected by a vacuum? Because this has it's made of basically wood, right? Or plastic, which is yes. what would that do? Yeah, last so time all the natural law, it took us an hour to realize he had no natural law to apply to the um, assertion he made. Oh, I've seen, law. I've seen wood inside a vacuum chamber. It doesn't appear to change at all. Oh, I Lemon has a great video for this. It actually shows you that if you put wood inside a vacuum chamber, the density changes. And the wood gets heavier. Yeah, than the but wood. I didn't see any change. It's not like a visible Yeah, the actual visible change. You can see... The, the scale change, the weight change. The weight change, that's not Yeah, visible. so now, now you're going to look at the whole vehicle is designed and balanced for such a certain way on a platform floating around, and it's not going to have any sort of Let shifting or moving. Can I, take, can I take a Hot Wheels car and put it in a vacuum chamber and see any difference on the Hot Wheels car? Yeah, well, that would be like the glove that you're talking about earlier. Is a Hot Wheels yeah. car an actual car? Is that car a model of... Uh, the, the you, actual car. If you put steel in a vacuum chamber, are you going to see an appreciable amount of distortion in the steel? Yeah, and also expose it to heat. Remember that there's two parts of the Boyle's yeah. Law, pressure and heat. Well, PV and T, we're talking about only the gases at that point. So, I mean, I'm not sure what you're talking about there. but Yeah, it, well, I think at some point, if you add enough heat, things do uh, expand, even if they're not... Yeah, uh, and, how much, and how much heat is being applied to the car? When it's I don't know, space? but it looks fake to me. Interior temperature on my car in the summer in Florida is 160 degrees. Um, the surface the temperature is probably, in space. I'm sure the surface is even more than that. The surface could hit all Yeah, but what's the temperature in space with like no atmosphere to protect you? Space doesn't have a temperature. Temperature so on surface is barely above. It's barely above zero. There's no. But there's so no. How do there's you no, get that? There's no real temperature because there's nothing to convey the temperature. You only have radiation that's coming. Uh, you, you only have radiation that's coming away from the car that's cooling the car down and then radiation that's hitting the car that's heating it up from the sun. Yeah, so why was that not seen either? What do you mean? What, what, what do you see? Yeah, you, you didn't it, see any effect of this temperature change on either side of the car. Yeah, there's no convection and no conduction. Space is a perfect insulator. That's why they put vacuum between in a thermos between the walls of the container and the thermos. So how does the sun transfer heat then? Radiation. The same and reason the radiation why radiation isn't affecting the the same objects in space. It would expect it would affect everything in space. It, it, it's, it, radiation. it's radiation the same way that you feel when when you go to a fireworks show and the firework explodes in front of you, you feel the heat from it instantly. That's yeah. radiation. You're There's feeling. another you're contradictory. The conducted. That's radiation yeah. that you're the feeling. ISS the ISS tells you they... If someone has like a... One of, have you ever seen those heat lamps? Those, those dish yep. heat lamps? Yep. Dry and on. then you get into the focal point of the heat lamp and you instantly feel the heat. That's not conducted heat. It's not the air between you and the lamp. That's the radiation that you're feeling. Come, the infrared radiation coming off of it. That's the way that heat is transmitted through space. Yeah, that's another contradiction because if you believe the story of the uh, International Fake Station, they tell you they need all these air conditioners because it's a constant bombardment of solar power and solar oh. heat. It would heat the place up so rapidly. Oh, well, well, first of all, it's white. It's why they paint it white so that it reflects like 90 plus percent of, the, of, the, of that infrared energy gets reflected away. And then, yes, and then they need some active cooling system for the remainder of the energy that gets absorbed. Well, that car was painted red, and it had black seats. Nobody's well, living there. Yeah, I don't know what the – it would have been interesting to know what the surface temperature would get up to. Uh, but you have to remember that, that heat is a very good conductor as well. So even though it's, it's receiving radiation, it's also reflecting radiation as well. Yeah, I totally agree with you, brother. No and one is living yeah. on the, sta the fake station. No, uh, people station. live on the fake. People live on uh, the ISS. Yeah, you, have no, you have no evidence that there's no people on it. We can clearly see it, so we know it's there. Now, whether there's people on it or not, you can choose to believe that there's not. No, no, no. It's it's no way it can be there. 
the radiation yeah. would kill them. Like, no, no, the, no, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. Jim, Jim, we've gone over this. We went over this. How much radiation is in the low yeah, Earth orbit of 250 you miles? You it's nowhere it. near. You and then when you, you when you it. talked about you when you talked it. about when you talked about how many rads, you were talking about the height of the Van Allen belts over a year of exposure. Not he doesn't know what a rad that, is. That they were there. No, it's, we're talking rems and not rads. You don't know what a rad is. You don't know what radiation is. You don't know any of these things. You don't know what these things are. You didn't know that the measurement that they were comparing was a year-long measurement versus uh, the three or four hours that they were going through with measurements. That sounds like a claim. No, that's a claim that was verified. Yeah. They weren't, through the height of the Van Allen belts, they were only there for a matter of hours. They weren't there for years. I mean, it's claim been a problem about if they were there. It would have been a problem if they were there for a month, but they weren't there for a month. Just like... Just like the soldiers that went on top of Chernobyl and were scooping reactor core material directly off the roof with shovels back into the hole, they were they, those people. Most of them did not die from that because they were only allowed to they do it for like forty-five. The they only did it. They, they only did it for like forty-five seconds at a time. Oh, That's no, the reason space. why they didn't they die. Love thermodynamics violation. You no, it doesn't. Really... No, it doesn't oh, violate the second law. Please, Space yeah. does not it's violate the anyway. second law. You don't know what you're talking about. It's a fantasy anyway. Uh, by the way, about. by the way, the roof of that Chernobyl is probably somewhere on the order of 300 times the radiation level. That... Compared yeah, to the hottest right. point of the Van Allen belts, you're you're probably talking on the order of uh, you I, know 24 I, times. Probably on, Jade, 6, Jade, 000, Jade, probably on the order of 6,000. Probably on the order of 6,000 times more radiation on the roof of Chernobyl Jade, than in the hottest part of the. Is there a citation for that? But Good. the year they went, the year they went to the moon, it would the the Van Allen radiation belts and the solar belt. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Shut up, Brenda! Let the guy talk. Shut your fucking mouth. Good, Bella. Good. Jim, just make sure you you context the question right. Don't say that space itself is a violation. You say that the atmosphere in in um in void of containment in space is a violation, and that 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 for they won't be able to just say. Oh, it you know because they're taking what you're saying out of context. They know what you mean, but they're just oh, you're telling them uh, another way to be wrong. Yeah, them. exactly. Yeah, always they know what you mean. The yeah, they know what you mean. Why but, they, some... but, but, but really, when you say space is a violation, that 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 is that is wrong. But what you mean by it isn't wrong. Yeah, another contradiction there. Even you, well, they're, they're, they're trying to say that you you literally mean they they're trying to say that you literally mean that space itself is a violation of the second law. Uh, Robbie, it's not a violation. They just mean that gravity. And they got it and wrong. Isn't it? Yeah. The, the journey, the journey. Is real or not, and whether gravity is real or not, we have an explanation for that. Well, gravity is in your I've, container. I've got, would be I've got an explanation for Narnia. Well, the the, the pressure gradient, the pressure gradient is a violation of the second law. So you need to decide: is the second law wrong, or is just something else? Uh, was the pressure wrong. gradient wrong? I guess, uh pressurized gas will always seek uh, low pressure. Yeah, that's, that's how the, the pressure what, gradient what creates the so There's a claim doesn't. right now. There's a claim right now that pressure gradient is a violation of natural law. And yeah, like, well, according to you. According to you, I didn't make that. No, claim. no, because. So what, according, what according to the law. No, according no, to no. the law. Oh, okay, no. read the law. Read the law. Yeah, I did not make that claim. And show me where, where you can have pressure gradient. Gravity. So why you low. don't want to. No, no, uh, let, never mind gravity. In that law. In that law. Yeah, you don't want to straw man someone's position because you're going to end up with egg on your face. You could take a twirl and then take it to flavor time. Yeah, the, so take the law and show me where you can have a pressure gradient there. Oh. It's your claim, not mine. Well, we my claim is that you can't. can't. Listen, listen. A gradient isn't exclusive with an open system in a in a in a, in a vacuum. You can have a gradient. In a second of second you describe it. Are you are you postulating that the only way you can have a gradient is if it wasn't contained? Because that's not. No, that's I, I'm contained. postulating that you low does not allow for pressure gradient. So what either is, is there is either your low is rubbish or there is something else. Listen, what we're saying is a gradient is not exclusive to an open an open surface. You no, you can have a gradient in a, in a, apparently you can have a gradient in a um in an open surface in a vacuum, but having a a gradient inside a container 
isn't a violation of any sort any of any sort. We can yeah, but you need that. gravity to do it, Brummy. That's the problem. No, you don't. You can do it yes, in centrifugal force. You can do it show, in centrifugal Show me, show me, show me, show me a, gravity. Show me a pressure gradient or a density tower where you have all objects traveling. You can do it in a centrifugal. Same acceleration. You can do it in a centrifugal. You, you can do it in or a have any weight, Sorry. You can do it in a centrifuge, foolish. Well, centrifuge is giving you a vector of direction, of and which is fine, but we don't live on a centrifuge. So you're saying with the, the Earth isn't moving? We don't no, I'm saying the Earth is moving. You can't use centrifugal if, if, if forces. Was, hold on, hold on. I'm talking, If that was the case, I'm going to finish so my point. If that was the case, then we would expect the densest atmosphere to be at the top. Listen, Dross, you can demonstrate would we a, not? a gradient inside a container and, and um, using centrifugal forces. Yeah, okay. show me show me that without gravity. No. You don't have gravity. It's got nothing you're, to do with You're gravity. postulating that gravity alone can cause the gradient on an open surface in a vacuum. No, That's I'm saying difference. the gravity is what causes the gradient in our atmosphere and what will give a gradient. That would allow you to have a gradient according to Boyle's law for an object at rest with no other forces resting upon it. Oh, you talk, oh yeah, we can all do that. Well, well, what you're saying is actually not right because the Boyle's law doesn't equate to what you're saying. And so in the inverted law, the upside down... Shut the fuck up, man. No, there's another literally, contradiction literally, right there. Literally, what you're saying is that the, the heliocentric models made a claim that, it's, that it has a gradient inside of a vacuum on an open surface. We, you can't demonstrate that. But yeah, we yeah, we, we can go but, through a falsification, but, falsification but criteria. Can, but what we can okay. demonstrate is a gradient, Sorry, you in, a, a in, a gradient in a container. So, <laughs> it's not equivalent. You're, you are Sorry, the one who's made a claim. You have made a claim of a globe. You keep Nobody using words you don't understand, Brummy. Nobody else has made a claim of the globe but you. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm no, saying no. that in, in a so gas canister, proof is on you. in a gas canister, proof, according to Boyle's law, with no gravity, there would be no gradient. In fact, in the ideal gas law itself says there would be no gradient. What are you on about? Because right the now? ideal gas I'm law talking assumes about, I'm that on about you're gradient. I'm on about a gradient, not in a container, a gradient on an open surface in a vacuum. You're talking about gas. I'm just about talking about the gradient around our planet. Hey, Brian, that, that, do you that, want to address the thing about the centrifuge? Plus, you're not listening, so what's the point in talking to you? So, Brummy, do you want to address the issue about the centrifuge and where is the densest? And what's the pressure gradient there? Uh, where's the pressure gradient in a centrifuge? In a cent in that, uh, As in terms of where is the densest material? Um, I'd have to get the demonstration up and, and show you, but it, it's not exclusive to being in an open surface in a, in a vacuum. That's all that needs to be said. We don't That's need fine, to be going into. Please. Do you well, want you to guys, address you that? You guys are saying that your, you guys are saying the gradient really basically proves that you that, that there's no container. That's what you're trying to postulate. Could you please address proof? about the behavior of the pressure gradient in a centrifuge? Well, what, what's the point? Because it's the only only to prove one point, isn't it? That you guys are trying to say that a gradient can't happen unless it, in in a, in a container when it can. No, no, no. What we say is that your law, the law that you use, does not allow pressure gradient. Oh, well, no, so person, either I'm your law is wrong, person. either your law is wrong, or there, or there is something more to we it. We need someone else to interject. Anyone why else why interject is Brami allowed to talk over everybody and I got muted for not talking to anybody? Because you trust, you don't answer what's been said. You just keep Neither do you. You stuff. just avoided his question completely. He asked you a question you, uh, and you dodged so, it. Am I making a claim? Am I making a claim? Is it a claim? Yeah, you made a claim about yes, a centrifuge and, and, a gravi and, a, and the density no, layers in no, it. And someone no. asked you're you a question to qualify. You're not, you're not that was your claim. So Again, why did you not address you're it? You're impossible to have a conversation with. You're demonstrating it right now. You don't listen to anything that's been said. The only do reason you feel I'm, your question was answered, the person who asked the centrifuge question? No, no point it being, wasn't. The point being, you guys are so saying... You that, guys are the saying person who asked the question agrees with okay, me that this question talking. wasn't answered. Let me know when you can, let me know when I you think the question wasn't answered. So why does everyone think the question's not answered? Does anyone think he actually answered the question? I do. I don't know. We're I about, a question for you, actually. We're <laughs> hearing about gradients, right? I'm telling you, a gradient is not exclusive to... An yeah, he showed you another gradient, another way to, to show, uh, have a gradient. And you hand waved and whistled past the graveyard and started asking about centrifuges instead of actually con um, conceding the point that you can have a gradient with a center uh, centrifugal Thank force. You. But you right. need a force. That's the point. Yeah, it's an yeah, antecedent. Uh, yeah, but you said the only force there can be, the only one 
no, 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 yeah, you did. That was a right, right, no, right, right, we're, right, we're talking about the right, atmosphere. That's I, what yeah, let me yeah, I'll, repeat my, I'll, 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 I'll repeat my statement again to Crit. Okay, go ahead. A canister at rest under pressure, yeah, will have an even 